Last June, the record-breaking Chicago Bulls and Michael captured their fourth crown of the 90s. With Jordan and Dennis Rodman re-signed, along with versatile Scottie Pippen, the reigning champs and the great one have set their sights on repeat. Down in Miami, Pat Riley has built his franchise around big man Alonzo Mourning. With Tim Hardaway running the point, the Heat are hoping to make waves throughout the NBA. Last year's early exit from the playoffs has been a bitter memory for Riley and the Heat as Jordan stole the show. Tonight, Michael and Alonzo do battle once again on TBS. Miami Arena is sold out, and why not? Because the world champs are in town, and it's our first look at the defending world champion Chicago Bulls as they take on the team they conquered in the first round of the playoffs last year, the Miami Heat. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to the NBA on TBS. I'm Dick Stockton, along with Hubie Brown and Dick Versace. And the NBA is in the middle of a bull market. Chicago, four titles in six years, record 72 wins last year. And they have started out this year, Hubie, winning their first three games, including last night against the Grizzlies. It doesn't seem like much has changed with Chicago. Now, you have to look at it, Dick, and say, look, the differential is 20.5 this season. <laughs> a year ago, during the 82 games, and then running through the playoffs, they ran a differential of 12.3. Now, that is outstanding. That was the highest that it had ever been, offense and defense, over their four championship runs. Major factor, their eight key scorers are back again. By that, we mean you cannot win it with a starting five. You must have the bench. Coot Coach, Kerr, and Wennington are there, and they've added the chief for insurance. That's Robert Parrish, who did not play last night, but probably will play tonight. Question that people want to know about the Bulls. What could derail them from winning another title this time around? Well, I think you have to look at Dick and the fact that over the summer they had surgery to three key players. You can see Scottie Pippen, the left ankle, Harper, the left knee, and then Longley, the left ankle. Now you say, well, what's the big deal? Well, anytime you say 82 games, eight exhibitions, and then anywhere from 18 to 21 or 24 playoff games, your key guys have got to hold up physically. That will be a big question mark. Now, as far as the Miami Heat is concerned, Pat Riley told us today, we don't have the team we dreamt about when we thought Jawan Howard would be on this team. That was a bitter blow. Salary cap problems, he's not here. They still have a 2-0 record and a good one-two punch in Alonzo Mourning and Tim Hardaway. Yeah, they do, but nothing can happen to these two people. They cannot lose Mourning or Hardaway for any extended period of time. The rest of the starters are role players. These two guys can get you 20 to 35 on a given night. But we all know that over this course of 82 games and the playoffs, you need three key scores. But they did add some quality defensive players on their second unit. P.J. Brown at 6'11", Ike Austin at 6'10", and then Keith Askins coming back at 6'8". They have quality depth. They have quality size. The key for them during the course of the season, Dick, will be can they score enough points, and especially can they score if Morning and Hardaway are out. And they're going to go up against one of the best defensive teams in basketball, perhaps in NBA history. That's the story, and we'll have the tip-off upcoming between the Bulls and the Heat from Miami Arena after this. TBS NBA Wednesday is brought to you by Chrysler and the Cam Forward Sedans of Chrysler. What's new in your world? By your local AutoZone stores. For the right parts at the right price, look no further than AutoZone. By Circuit City. You can't get a better price. We guarantee it. And by Nike. I really don't like soft drinks with fruity names. I like roller coaster rides that make my brain sweat. I find reasons to go a different way. My family and I enjoy life to the utmost. So if you want to experience my joy, don't ride with me. Buy your own. <laughs> when it comes to rope and a steer, Folks in Grand Junction, Colorado will tell you that Ron Markin can ride with the best of them. And when it comes to overhauling an engine or rebuilding a carburetor, well, he can do it all. You see, when Ron's not riding a horse for fun, he's turning a wrench for a living. So he buys a lot of parts, mostly from AutoZone. 
Sure, there are other parts stores in town, but Ron knows that when you want the right part for the right price, there's just no place better than AutoZone. isn't it? Finding out you paid too much for your stereo. Circuit City. You can't find a lower price. We guarantee it. You can't have pool parties when I'm on the road. Tired! You left your toothbrush at my house! That's you, LP. That's you. I know my spot, fool! You can't guard me! The Secret Service couldn't guard me! I mean, you can have a regular party, but you can't have any more pool parties. Look at this. The filter's messed up. Now, well, Hump Day Hoop is back. And if it's Wednesday, then this is the NBA on TBS. And voted in for another basketball term. I'm Vince Gelini, joined by the First Lady of Hoops, Cheryl Miller. Cheryl, great to be with you. Well, thank you, Sir Vincent. <laughs> Let's start with a big man <laughs> and his big contract. $120 million in Kazam. The Lakers got themselves the league's premier center. And Shaquille O'Neal has not disappointed in the Laker 3-0 start. Shaq entered tonight's game at Charlotte as the NBA scoring leader, 28 a game, averaging 15.3 boards a game. That's third in the league, a little over three blocks per contest. And tonight in Charlotte, Shaq making his presence felt early. In the first quarter, Vladi Divac, who was traded away by the Lakers to free up cap room for Shaq. Look out! The diesel with the forearm picked up a technical foul right there. Also coming over in the Vladi deal, Kobe Bryant, the third pick, 13th pick rather, in the draft uh, last June. And 18 years old, Cheryl, yeah. two games, kid scored one point. Growing pains? Well, you know, some growing pains. The kid obviously ran into some roadblocks in New York, and the first was another rookie, John Wallace. Now, Kobe Bryant's going to have the half position down on the left block. But a 6'9 Wallace is going to use his frame to go over and through Kobe Bryant. So Kobe says, all right, man, you got me on that one. He's going to make sure he drives past him. Nice turnaround, but ah, uh, got whistle for shuffling his feet. Now Kobe's finally going to have an open lane, but uh-oh, comes face to face with the big boys. Buck Williams and Patrick Ewing, but you know what, to give the guy, you got to cut the guy some slack. Here's a kid that obviously has the skills to be something special. Yeah, Kobe thought school was out. Uh, I don't think so. That's it for mm -hmm. now. Cheryl and I back with the Nike halftime report. We're almost set for tip off, however, in Miami. Last spring, Jordan and company just steamrolled the heat in postseason. Tonight, Zoe and his pals try to save face. Bulls heat. Somebody's going to get their first loss of the year. Next on TBS. And now, from Paris, from Milan, from St. Louis. Introducing a new look from Budweiser, Born on Dating. It's the day your bud was born, because fresh beer tastes better. Nice label. Thanks. We're not waiting for permission, for approval, for feedback. And we are most definitely not waiting for anyone to let us play. We're not waiting for anything except the ball. This is our time. This is our league. A long time ago, someone said, I am better than you, and I can prove it. Competition is born. Over the years, people invent new toys, new fields, new ways to compete. Challenge becomes contest. Contest becomes game. Games with different names, but one purpose, winning. Some people play on teams, others go it alone. People practice, get better, frighteningly better. The game face is invented. Things get personal. It becomes part of our genetic makeup, our psyche. Only now, people are getting bigger, stronger, faster. More intent on winning, more intent on not losing. New styles develop. It gets harder and harder to be the best. We see competition on television, in big meeting places. It's everywhere. It takes new forms, new shapes. Suddenly, everyone's got a game. There are winners and losers, good and bad. The winners get trophies, cups, rings, bragging rights, shoot contracts. And at the heart of it all, none of this matters, because I'm better than you, and I can prove it. I got a game. I can prove it. If it's in the game, EA Sports. It's in the game. 
back to Miami, the scene of Biscayne Bay at night, and we're not that far away at the Miami Arena as we're set to go with tonight's game between the Chicago Bulls and the Miami Heat. And here are the starting lineups brought to you by Circuit City. Ron Harper and Michael Jordan, the guards. Scotty Pippen, Luke Longley, and Dennis Rodman up front. For the Miami Heat, Tim Hardaway and Sasha Danilovich in the backcourt. Dan Marley, Alonzo Mourning, and Kurt Thomas up front. Bill Jackson coaching the Bulls and Pat Riley for the Heat. Between them, they have won eight world championships. You will never see a more prominent matchup of head coaches. You'll be eight titles, four apiece. And, and with distinct styles of play. With Pat Riley, showtime. Fast breaking, get it up, and the opposite end with the Chicago Bulls, the triangle offense, everything methodical, take your time, very few fast breaks. And as you saw, Pat Riley chalking up his uh, 800th career victory in their last victory at Indiana. The Heat in white, the Bulls are in their red. Longley will jump center against Alonzo Mourning. Ronnie Nunn, Bill Spooner, and Tommy Wood are the officials working tonight's game. Capacity crowd here in Miami. Last year, the Bulls took three out of four in the regular season before sweeping the Heat three straight in the first round of the playoffs. Controlled by Chicago. Harper is guarded by Tim Hardaway, and it's going to be the straight matchup. There's posting up. Danilovich is guarding Michael Jordan. Turn around, and Jordan puts the Bulls up. Now, Dick, you cannot play Michael any better than that. Danilovich extended. Even got a piece of that shot. Jordan, uh, 30 points in the opener, 27 and then 22 points. So he is uh, picking up where he left off as Marley misses a three. Loose ball into the hands of Jordan. This team does not have position players, really. It's wings and guards when you look at it. Well, they, they run the offense. They, they, they do it well. The offense is built that everyone gets a chance to do their thing. Harper controlling nine on the shot clock. Now it's Longley, low post against Morning. Good feed inside to Jordan. The basket good and a foul. Anytime that you allow them to pass the ball directly into the post person, you're asking for trouble. They either they either backdoor you from the corner, or in this case, keep an eye on Jordan. As Luke Lee's to the right, you can see he just ran without the ball. Now Danilovich that time was thinking that Jordan was going to come back out off a double screen. Danilovich with his foul, the first one, and Jordan now has five points, and the Bulls lead it five to nothing with less than a minute gone by. Main thing now with Miami, you can see the power game is getting in the morning and hope that he can get on the line. Turn around baseline, morning misses, and Dennis Rodman grabs the rebound. Rodman has been a rebounding king again. He has averaged nearly 12 and a half rebounds of his first two, and then he had a Big game in his last one. Here is the fast break. Hardaway. Harper trying to get a piece of it, and the Heat are on the scoreboard. And we have two excellent defensive teams here tonight. They're both right in the top three. Fewest points, low shooting percentages against, but they are both forcing 20 turnovers a game by the opposition. So this should be a relatively low-scoring game. Michael Jordan coming out. And is three for three from the field and has scored the first seven Bulls points. Anything for Miami. Slow things down right now. Get high percentage shots. You must get some second shots in this ballgame. Thomas trying to uh, get the pass into Hardaway, breaking for the basket, but it's a leg block and a new 24 second clock for the Miami Heat. The Heat last year won 42 and 40, but to get there, they had to uh, perform brilliantly down the stretch, winning. 18 of the last 29. They did a terrific job, Dick. But then again, you remember, they ran 22 players through through their building during the course of the season. Only five of them remain today. So the continuity factor was a little shaky for Miami last year. Morning leaves it out for Danilovic for three. He's got it. Sasha Danilovic from Serbia, who averaged nearly 13 and a half a year ago. Now, this is a big three-point shooting team. They are leading the league in attempts this year with 23 a game. Two and a half minutes gone by in the opening quarter. The Chicago Bulls leading seven to five. Here's Scotty Pippen's first shot of the game. And Rodman gets the offensive board. Well, he led the league last year in offensive rebounding at close to six a game. And he did it again at playoff time. Six a game. Jordan pulls up and finally misses a shot. 
And a controlled inside by Kurt Thomas. A very fine second-year player. And a great feed inside for Corning. Thomas known for his defensive exploits, but showed a great pass after filling the lane. We're talking 6'9", 245, handled the ball, and then the delivery of the pass. Beautiful. So Morning gets the basket. Three different heat players have scored, and we're tied at seven. Here is Jordan gets three, and Michael Jordan now with nine points. All nine of the Bulls points off the hand of Michael Jordan. That was Michael Jordan at his best, reading the defense. The defense cheated on a double screen. Thomas setting a screen for Danilovic, who will go to the hoop against Wormley in a fine play. Left-handed lay-in by Danilovic. Well, you're happy to see him back. He missed 62 games last year with a broken right hand. He is a tremendous high-percentage shooter. Originally a second-round draft pick from Golden State, played in Europe for three years. And here's Ron Harper, wild with the three-point attempt, but Rodman with another offensive rebound. He has three boards so far. Harper throws up an air ball. He is way off in the early going as Ron Harper. Hardaway leaves it for Danilovic. Open in the corner. Morning. He threw up an air ball, but Thomas is fouled and goes right at her run. We may expect some of this tonight. Yeah, well, you see, Thomas is a bull. He is a, a, a quality defensive player. Pat Riley said one of the best in the league at power forward. And he has the size and strength and quickness that he's not going to take any guff off of Rodman. Give Rodman his due. Rodman has already picked up two offensive rebounds in this game, and that's probably itching at Thomas. Now, when these teams played in the playoffs last year, Alonzo Mourning was thrown out of the game, ejected in game one, then fouled out in game two. So there's some bad blood between these two teams. And he claimed that the Bulls laughed in their faces when they swept them last year. Yeah, and all of the players were quoted this week in the Miami papers saying that they didn't mind losing, but during the course of the game, the talking was there, and they should have been hit with technical fouls. They were not. The league stepped back. So they all, you know, really have a little chip on their shoulder. Keep an eye right down here. It says right in the middle, right there. You're going to see Rodman. There they are right there. There's a grab from behind. And then Rodman comes with the elbow. And you can definitely see why Thomas went right in his face. Double technical foul called against both Dennis Rodman and Kirk Thomas. Thomas hits the free throw to give the Heat their first lead of the game. Now let me ask you a question. You're Thomas right now. Rodman gives you a shot. Can in the I back answer of this head. question? You yeah. Know? Okay. Are you going to stand and not come in his face? Absolutely. Now, he didn't hit him. He didn't hit him. So why is he getting a double second? Because they always catch the second guy. Yeah, but he didn't do anything. You see, he got in Rodney's face. So to me, right now, uh, maybe if they're sending a message. Yeah, well, of course. Have you been around this league? A couple of, your couple first of weeks. On these games? A couple of weeks. <laughs> Fall away by Jordan. He turned around as the ball was in the air. He knew it was through, and Michael Jordan, 5 for 6, ties the game at 11, and Jordan has scored all of Chicago's 11 points. So he's off to a sizzling start tonight. Turnaround by Morning, and he hits, and the Heat lead, 13 to 11, off to a good start in this game. Both teams. Miami needs Morning. He's their inspirational guy. He's got to get it to them. Also, he must get on the foul line and get fouls on the front line. They go to Longley, working against Alonzo Morning. They feel they can work on Morning. And Luke Longley spins his way in, and Longley gets his first points of the game, and that is the first Chicago basket by a player other than number 23. That was a beautiful spin move that by Longley in the pivot. Marley for three off the front rim, and Harper the rebound. Pippen brings it out. Heat back defensively with 6.48 to go in the first. Tight game throughout. We're even at 13. It's a clear out. Milovic already has fouled Jordan. Pulls up. That didn't go for him. Morning the rebound. Hardaway the nice. Ball. Great pass to Kurt Thomas, and he's fouled going in. Oh, you could see that one right in front of us. A beautiful pass by Marley. And let's give Thomas a lot of credit. He was huffing and puffing and filling that lane. Second-year player from TCU off to a good start himself. Chrysler. At Chrysler, we seek to stir the currents of elegance, of refinement, innovation, and style, style, so much style. We challenge the road with a distinct flavor no one can ignore. 
you should feel what it's all about. Move into the momentum that is Chrysler. Hello, I'm Bill Walton. For every point scored during TNT and TBS NBA telecasts in November and December, American Express will make a $10 donation to the Charge Against Hunger program. And we know how NBA players love to score points. I don't know. Greer's putting the ball on a play. He gets it out deep and Havlicek steals it. Havlicek stole the ball. It's all over. Stolen, I think, by the doctor. Yes, he's got it. He can he come. Ray rocked the baby to sleep and slam dunk. To look away to Lovingston. Ask your cable or satellite provider about CNNSI, the sports news network. National Geographic Explorer, followed by Topics. TBS Destination Sunday, every Sunday night at 7 Eastern, only on TBS. I think last year, and then when I clutched that ball without my father being around the support system, that which is normal for me, it kind of capped off an unbelievable 15 months in, in that process. Uh, a lot of things have happened. And, I'm just happy to be back at basketball. I have a whole new uh, understanding for the, for the game and, and, and where I stand in the game. And I think a lot of that has to do with my maturity as a person uh, before a basketball player. Michael Jordan, who really is the symbol of this game right now, and uh, a gentleman. You remember we talked about Julius Irving being the ambassador of the game. He has succeeded Julius in that regard. He carries himself so well, Dick. And, you know, since he has come back, during that month of March, the last 17 games of the season, the playoffs, and then last season, they are 46 and three in their building since his return. He was not satisfied in the playoffs last year. Tendonitis gave him a problem in the Seattle series, so he's worked four hours a day this summer to get his weight down so he'll play between five to eight pounds lighter than he did a year ago. And he wants another title, and if they stay healthy and focused, forget about the 72 wins. They're not even looking at win total this year. And they're healthy, as you mentioned, going into April. They've got to be the big favorites. Tony Kukoc has uh, come into the game for the Bulls. He's their sixth man, replacing Dennis Rodman. The last foul, by the way, was on Harper. The Heat lead by one, 14 to 13. Kukoc with a good pass into Pippen. Triple team. Good D on Pippen inside, but he's working on Marley, and he is determined. Scotty Pippen with a short jumper, and the Bulls now lead by one. Excellent move. There's a guy, his initial move was defended perfectly by Marley, but then he still has more game. Marley is left open by Kukoc for three. He missed it. He was at the top of the key, but the ball comes out in the hands of Kurt Thomas. Hardaway for three, and he misses. Morning is fouled by Longley or Pippen going in, but the Heat trying a lot of threes. They keep firing away from outside. Fouls on Pippen. So you're going to give you a good look here. See, Marley's allowed to put that forearm in the back. See, Pippen gives him three moves. Marley was with him every time, but then any time that you have size on a defender and you throw that fade away with any kind of a rainbow arc, you're in business. That was an air ball thrown by Morning. And that's got to be the most embarrassing thing uh, any player can do. And Morning uh, turns his head uh, in embarrassment. So Morning uh, with another shot here. He has led the Heat in scoring in the first two games. Seventh in the NBA with over 23 points last year. And uh, eighth in rebounding and block shot leader at only 6'10". He is not a giant among giants in the game. He led the NBA in foul shot attempts last year at 10.2 a game. That is an incredible statement because he's giving away size every single night. Tied at 15. Scotty Pippen short with a turnaround and Thomas and Morning battles for the loose ball. Comes down to the hands of Thomas. Dick in the early going. Thomas doing yeoman's work underneath. Five rebounds. Hardaway missed and the basket's going to count. Alonzo Morning with the follow-up. And the Heat leads 17 to 15 and a chance to open up a three-point lead. Now in the first six and a half minutes you can see that Miami is getting the advantage every time that they push. Here's a good look that time by Timmy Hardaway and he takes the center to him opening up morning. They must continue to push. This is their type of tempo. Ron Harper with his second personal foul. 
And Morning now with eight points. Jordan with 11, top Chicago, and the Heat are up by three with 520 remaining in the first quarter. We have to remember Chicago played at home last night and then travel got in got into Miami at about 3 30 everyone went to bed about 4 a.m. Kuko over Thomas and the rebound by Marley the heat with a very fine first quarter and as we say it Hardaway overthrows Thomas out of bounds we haven't had many turnovers so far in this first quarter no, it's been nice uh, Thomas called for that Timmy just made a, a bad pass each team has one turnover, so it's about as been as minimal as you could expect. Here's Longley. Working out of that triangle offense. Jordan shooting over Marley, and he misses. Jordan was red hot early. He's missed a few lately. Rebound by Thomas. That's his sixth board of the game. And we still have 4.38 to go in the first. See, Marley's had four open looks on three-point shots so far. He and Danilovich will be open all night long. But they've got to hit some type of a percentage. This is a two-point shot by Hardaway. And a Hardaway now with his second basket. And it's a five-point Miami lead with less than 420 remaining in the first quarter. The Heat are on a six-to-nothing run now against the maybe a fatigued Bulls team at this point. Here's Pippen. Goes up blocked by Morning. And Morning, who was fifth in the league in block shots last year. Wide open. Danilovich for the moment. And Thomas from the corner. How out of sight is Kurt Thomas in this first quarter, Hubie? Well, you have to you look back and say, this guy led the NCAAs in rebounding. He averaged, he had over 20 rebounds four times in his senior season. And he scored over 40 points four times. So you know, not only is he a horse, and in that power forward position, but he also can score. Kid, you got the talent, but you got a problem. You're too nice. I'm going to make you bad. OK, Mr. Lambert. Over 400,000 aluminum radiators will corrode and fail. But Prestone Antifreeze bonds with aluminum, forming the Prestone Zone of protection against corrosion. It's your car. Protect it in the Prestone Zone. Dodge is different. It is more technology. Explore. More innovation. More style than you think. Let Dodge lead you to a whole new road. Explore. Express. Expand. Think again. Think Dodge. For 36 years, Dr. Pearl has believed in providing the best in value. And now at Pearl Vision, we're celebrating our anniversary with a fantastic frame sale. All our frames are 50% off, every one reduced by half. But hurry, Pearl's Founders Day sale ends soon. This program is authorized under broadcasting rights granted by the National Basketball Association. Any publication, reproduction, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game without the expressed written consent of the National Basketball Association is prohibited. And with Miami leading 22 to 15, our first opportunity, and I hope it's not our last by any stretch, to send it to our third member of our team, Dick Versace. Dick. Well, thank you, Dick. I'm here with Randy Fun, vice president of the Miami Heat, and it was a big day, not only for the nation yesterday. Uh, president Clinton was reelected, but some big news as far as your new arena. Well, we got the vote yesterday for our new arena, and it's just very exciting to us. Uh, we have a great owner here in Mickey Arison. He stepped forward with another $100 million to keep the heat in Miami, uh, in a waterfront stadium, which is where we want to be. So if we keep playing like we're playing in the first quarter, this is going to make it a perfect week for us. Well, I, I read where Jerron Howard said he wanted, if he was here, he was going to take a, a boat to practice to be able to do that. We like to be able to do that. We want all our players to live in a nice place. They want to take a boat to practice. That's great. Okay. All right, Randy Fun, thank you. Back to you, Dick and Uby. Michael Jordan with a baseline jumper is fouled. So Jordan, red hot early, getting That's cooled off a bit. And now it looks like he's back on the beam with 13 points. The personal foul is on Danilovich, his second 
personal. The Bulls have come in with a couple of substitutions. Dennis Rodman has checked back in the game, and the first appearance for Randy Brown, the 6'2 guard, who's really a tenacious defender for them. Yeah, they're looking to lighten up the load on Harper, and then also, hopefully, over the course of the year, that Michael Jordan will play reduced minutes. Right now, Dennis Rodman playing the center position. Pass off the hands of Thomas, so the uh, Hardaway Thomas connection uh, short circuits for the second time tonight. Scotty Pippen leaves it for Brown. They don't get much offense from him. Kuko out to Pippen. Marley on him. Plenty of time on the shot clock. 3:15 to go in the quarter. Off the screen, Kuko. Here's Brown. Two seconds on the clock. They didn't really have it going on that sequence. Rodman tried to clean it up. And it comes down to Heat. Good D by the Miami Heat that time down the floor. Dan Marley has been doing an excellent job on Scotty Pippen off the dribble. Pippen has scored but two points thus far, coming in averaging 18. Morning's turnaround and the rebound by Jordan. The Bulls trailing the Heat by four. 2.45 to go in the first quarter. Hardaway picking up Brown, going right through the switch. Eight on the shot clock. Jordan with a lot of room on the screen. And it comes down to Marley. Ahead of the pack is Morning, and he's fouled. They had both Jordan and Brown trailing him. And one of them picked up the personal foul. That'll send Morning to the line, and Hubie talked about how often he gets to the strike. Yeah, this is just a good look by Marley getting it up ahead, and then a smart foul right here to force him to get to the miss. And let's see him go to the foul line and make the foul shot. Now, this year, Alonzo is only shooting 50% from the foul line, but throughout his career, he's in the mid-70s. He gets to the line so often. Throughout his career, he's never averaged less than eight attempts, and he's always in that nine to 10 plus per game. Brown picked up the foul on Morning, who will be under the microscope, uh, according to Pat Riley. There you see uh, what he has done thus far, 10 touches, uh, three for four from the line, nine points already. He's been fouled three times, so obviously he is a focal point of this offense. Yeah, and he's missed two foul shots also. The key with Alonzo Mourning is the turnovers. Last year he averaged close to four a game, and they're trying to get him. They, they practice double-teaming in that so that he will get better at finding people. 23 to 18, the Miami Heat leading as we wind down to two minutes to go in the quarter. Kukos over Brown is coming to the ball game. D.J. Brown, the former New Jersey net, who uh, you be referred to at the opening, and a three-point basket by Hardaway, only the second for the Heat in six tries, and it's an eight-point Miami lead, 26 to 18. I thought Hardaway was wearing a Golden State shirt <laughs> that time with Don Nelson on the side. I think he has it underneath his shirt as. Randy Brown misses and we will have a offensive foul. He just dribbles this one right up to the line, stops behind it. And it's always something that you've got to protect against because he's a quality three-point shooter, always around 36, 38 percent. Tim Hardaway goes to the bench. He has scored seven points. And Gary Grant, the nine-year veteran from Michigan, who played in 47 games with the Knicks, replaces him. And Keith Askins. Another uh, fine defensive player has also come in for Miami. Judd Bushler has checked into the Bulls lineup, and he's guarding Dan Marley with 1.33 to go in the first. P.J. Brown leaves it for Gary Grant. Loose ball out to the Heat with Marley in a new clock. Eight-point Miami lead. Bulls led 7-2, to two, and uh, since then, it's been all Miami. Yeah, I, I'd like to see them get down inside to Morning or Thomas and work a little bit. Let's see if Rodman and Kukos can defend them. How about outside to Morning as uh, Alonzo has now 11 points. He's the leading scorer for Miami. One minute remaining at 28-18, to 18, biggest lead of the game. Brown throws it up, and he's fouled by Grant. That was a bad foul by Grant. He just uh, told his teammates, you know, my fault. That time, Brown came from the opposite side of the floor. What, what Chicago will do when they don't run the triangle offense, they run what we call a spread, an open offense. Three people outside high, and then two in the corners. They pass to a wing, and they just cut and beat you with their quickness. Did he say my fault, or did he say my bad, like the new goal used to say? Which I, was it? No, well, I'm, I'm not so sure. Gary Grant has done a nice job for Pat Riley in the first two games, and Pat is 
Uh, extremely happy, especially in the Indiana game. Gary came in and made three key baskets for them down the stretch. Offensive rebound on the miss by Brown by Rodman. Who else? Here's Kukos working against T.J. Brown. Tipped by Morning. He got a piece of it. And out of bounds. Last touch by the Heat. It'll be Chicago ball. Dennis Rodman. Yes. Now has four offensive rebounds. And everyone says, well, you know, he's only six foot seven, six foot eight. He only weighs 210 pounds. He should be able to keep him off the board. How about the anticipation and timing? <laughs> Doesn't matter how tall you are if you got that going. Jordan fouled as he changed over to his left hand, and Michael Jordan will go to the free throw line. And Alonzo Mourning's first foul. That was a prime time move from Michael. That's the third time now from that spot that he has spun to the baseline and either scored or been fouled. The morning with his first foul. The numbers on Rodman, seven rebounds and five off the offensive glass. And that is why the Chicago Bulls probably won the world championship last year because of what he did off the board. That's the one factor they needed a year ago. Well, anytime you say that a guy's going to get you six offensive boards, you know because the shots are within eight to ten feet of the basket, the second shot, you're going to score four out of those six times. That's eight points. And when you think about it, the majority of playoff games in the NBA are decided by six points or less. Bulls extending their defense with 15 on the shot clock and under a half a minute to go in the first quarter. Jordan, one out of two from the line. Here's Morning over Rodman. Well played by Zoe. See, right now, if I'm Pat Riley, I've got to go to Zoe down inside. Rodman has got to prove to me that he can stop Morning. And if he can't stop him, I want him in foul trouble. 30 to 19, that's the biggest lead of the game for the Miami Heat. Morning has 13. And Jordan goes up, the ball knocked away with 2.5. And that was Morning doing the number against Dennis Rodman. Jordan misses at the buzzer. And the Miami Heat off to a brilliant start thanks to that man. Alonzo Morning with 13 points, six rebounds, two block shots leading the way. And after one, the Heat lead the Bulls 30 to 19. Movies for guys who like movies. Thursday, go the distance with Rocky. You want them? We got them. Movies for guys who like movies. 8.05 Eastern, Thursday night, only on TBS. The champions of golf's four majors, head-to-head, -head, in an event you can't see anywhere else but TBS. The MasterCard PGA Grand Slam, November 12th and 13th, in prime time, only on TBS. Sport, the scent of exhilaration, new from Aquavelva. Also available in deodorant and antiperspirant. Huh? Is your dandruff sending the wrong signals? You're out. Get Celsum Power. Doctors recommend Celsum Blue Number One, so don't send the wrong signals. Get Celsum Power. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. These aliens are killing us. We need some help. Right away, your airness. Behold. Now only at McDonald's. Collect these fun Looney Tunes stuffed characters from the new movie Space Jam. Just $2.99 each with the purchase of a new deluxe or any other large sandwich. Way to go, Dandy. How about we go out and kick some alien butt? Space Jam at McDonald's. Come hungry. Leave stuffed. Welcome back to the Miami Arena. Dick Stockton, Hubie Brown, and Dick Versace. The Miami Heat leading 30 to 19, shooting 55% from the field to only 35% for the Chicago for the Chicago Bulls. And there is the uh, greatest uh, coach, winning-wise of all time, Don Shula, formerly of the Dolphins. 
Well, when you go back to Don Shula's early beginnings and you think of all of the coaches who were assistants at that time and then sprung out and made it, it's, you know, it's really amazing. And then naturally, the incredible job that he did at Baltimore as well as Miami and a wonderful man on top of it all. A legend taking in the heat tonight. Jordan is 6 of 11 from the field. The rest of the Bulls have only two baskets as you look at the breakdown of the field goal percentage. As we start the second quarter, Steve Kerr is into the game for the Chicago Bulls. He's guarding Gary Grant. Askins is also in there with Marley, T.J. Brown, and Alonzo Mourning. Here is Scotty Pippen. He's got two coach, Rodman, Kerr, and Longley. Two coach with a basket and is pushed by Brown, and he is fouled. So two coach with a chance for a three-point play. Now you really hate to see that. The Cardinals center defense is fouling a jump shooter. And that was the first time that the Chicago Bulls have scored in any type of transition. The Bulls are not what we would call a real fast-breaking type of team. They lope down. They get their advantages two-on-one, three-on-two, four-on-three. Kukos misses the free throw. Kukos had 20 in the opener against Boston, 14 last night against Vancouver. He's been bothered last year, the broken thumb, and then he's had a sprained left ankle, as Hubie pointed out. A lot of these veteran Bulls are banged up and a whistle and a foul away from the ball. Every time that they hit that high post on the right side, they are backdooring the man from the corner. And Rodman picks up number two. Now you're going to see it right now to the left of your screen. You're going to see Steve Kerr go through and then he grabs on. Now that, that to me was hardly a foul. But Rodman now with two. So Pippen and Rodman and Harper all with two fouls for the Bulls. Morning posting up against Longley. Baseline turnaround. Alonzo Morning, 15 points. He had 13 in the first quarter, and again an 11-point Miami lead. It's been all Miami this point. Well, he's really worked on that shot over the summer. He's calling it the Elijah on fadeaway. Sealed by Gary Grant. He'll take it in, and the Heat with their biggest lead of the game. Remember what we told you now. We have two teams here who are leading the league. They're one and two in forcing turnovers. Both have forced 20 a game. You know, the Heat are doing this in self-defense because you fall down by 12 to 15 points against Chicago. You kind of lose your enthusiasm. Very tight defense by the Miami Heat. Kerr misses a three. No one underneath but P.J. Brown for Miami. Gary Grant ran long, was wide open. Unfortunately, Thomas never saw him. 34 to 21 in favor of the Miami Heat, shocking the Bulls here in the first half. Bulls coming in 3 0, the Heat 2 0. Bad pass to Marley, too low, but Marley gets it anyway. And Morning converts. Nice. That was a man's man scoring there. That was a man's move. I mean, he came right through, knocked away two red shirts to get that ball. And this is a game to be played only by men, Hubie. Let's face it. 17 points and eight rebounds for Alonzo Morning and a foul committed against the Miami Heat. Now keep an eye on this fadeaway. Alonzo worked on this move all summer to get it on that side of the floor. And then here, watch to the left of your screen. Now he comes through right here and then right up in there between splitting Kukoc and Longley. Askins committing his second personal foul. Morning goes to the bench right now. Replaced by Isaac Austin. And the uh, turnaround by Scotty Pippen, who has his second basket. Well, you got to give Marley credit. He's making Scotty work hard. Bounce pass. And P.J. Brown has tried something fancy here. You don't want to do that against the Chicago Bulls and give them a chance to get some momentum. Back. All he had to do is throw a bounce pass and he had a layup. 13-point lead for the Heat. 9-15 to go in the half. Puko doesn't fall for him. The rebound by Ike Austin. I'll tell you about Austin, who Pat Riley is very high on. Here's Austin with a turnaround. Isaac Austin, who averaged over 22 a game in Turkey last year and led the NBA in field goal percentage in three seasons. Keep bringing out the point. Keep forcing the action. If you're Miami, every time you get a rebound or a steal, push the ball hard. The Bulls are not getting back there. Extremely sluggish this evening in the early going, and you're getting the three on two and the four on three. Tony Kukoc guilty of the offensive foul. 
Michael Jordan remains on the bench as the Heat have opened up a 15-point lead here with a little more than four minutes gone by in the second quarter. Austin couldn't handle it, and here's Pippen. Pippen, good defense by Hardaway, made him stop. The cardinal rule of pivot plays when the pass is made to you meet the pass. Kerr with the jumper, Steve Kerr with his first loop for the night. 38 to 25. Kerr, the three point gem, 31 years old, hit 52% of them last year, second in the league. Grant working on Kerr. Here's Ike Austin. Goes right around Longley, but lost it to Luke. Turned it over. He had beaten him to the hoop off the dribble. Blue Coats. Guarded by Brown. Longley misses the jumper. Rodman knocks it out of bounds. Last touch, however, by the Heat. And Danilovich will come back into the game for That's Miami. And Randy Brown for the Chicago Bulls. We still haven't seen Michael Jordan yet in this second quarter. He scored 15 in the first. So Grant did his job, did it well. Goes to the bench. Kerr trapped. Brown extra pass. Pippen for three. He's got it. Beautiful call. Excellent rotation. Totally unselfish play. Scotty Pippen, and that's the first from downtown for the Chicago Bulls, who come now within 10 points of the Miami Heat. 7.35 to go in the first half. Here's Sasha Danilovic with a runner, and it'll drop for him. You know, he has that shot, Dick. He likes that. Soft balance, but you have to look at him. He's six foot seven. He has long arms, and he has the ability to get off a high percentage shot. Danilovic. That'll be the shooting guard. Rex Chapman, of course, was here last year. No longer here. I think the Heat would have liked to have kept him if the Jawan Howard thing were not possible. And a foul is called against uh, Brown, P.J. Brown. That is his first foul, and that'll send Luke Longley to the free throw line. Well, Longley ended up with a very poor percentage type of a shot, and then to get a foul called on top of it really bailed Longley out. Luke Longley, who had bone spurs removed from his uh, left ankle, has had tendonitis in his knees. You know, interesting at the Bulls shoot around today, every one of the Chicago Bulls wears an ice pack when they shoot around on both knees. Well, it's interesting, the trainer this year, because of the age of the team, 32 years in the starters, what they're doing is they're stretching for longer periods of time. They stretch when practice is over. They, they're all on diets now. And they're trying to do everything to preserve them for when the playoffs begin. Mike Austin given the shot by Longley. Instead keeps it on the floor with two seconds on the clock. And the 24-second clock expires, turning it over to the Bulls. Ike Austin is guilty of two turnovers here because he's trying to do too much. I think Pat Riley would be very happy if he would just take it to the rim because he has a very nice game with his back to the basket. 6.42 remaining in the first half. NBA doubleheader action begins Friday night at 8 on TNT. Developing the Seiko Kinetic Watch, we applied for 50 patents. How could we fit them all inside? 
We took out the battery. Seiko Kinetic, the amazing quartz watch that never needs a battery. I'm here with legendary coach Don Shula. Coach, everybody wants to know what you're doing now. Well, I'm watching Heat basketball. They're hustling. It's a great game, and uh, it's always fun to watch the Bulls. And uh, this is uh, what I'm interested in right now is supporting the Heat, uh, Dolphins, and, you know, the other teams that I'm interested in in the uh, National Football League. All right, so you still must keep a very close eye on the Dolphins. No question about that. You know, I'm hoping that they can get it untracked and, and start winning some games. They got a big one coming up this week with the Colts. Coach, it's a pleasure seeing you as always. Thank you, and I enjoy this. Thank you. All right, back to Dick and Yubi. All right, Dick, it's good to see Don Shul and his wife Marianne here at the Miami Heat game and uh, enjoying some other sport. Normally, this time of year, he is busy looking at film and uh, probably doesn't get home much at all. Well, Michael Jordan, now for over five minutes, finally comes back into the lineup for Chicago. Here. We said that they did not arrive until late. They all went to bed at four, but Phil had them up by 11 because they practiced here today at 12 o'clock. Jordan is fouled and will go to the line. Michael Jordan with 15 points in that uh, first quarter and P.J. Brown with his second personal. Dan Marley will come into the game replacing Keith Askin. Michael is blowing by people this season. I mean, he looks so sharp. And when he elevates, no contest. He's getting excellent shots. Now, the people wanted a charge. In high school and college, that would have been a charge. But in pro basketball, they are going to protect the players that elevate. And there's like an unwritten, about, it's about a three to six foot, depending upon who's refereeing, out from that rim to protect the guys when they elevate. Jordan was five for his first six from the field, now six for 11. But he'll get his points somehow, some way, and he'll get them in streaks. Hits both free throws, 17 for Michael Jordan. And the Heat lead at once, 15 points, now down to eight. The full court press has not turned the ball over once yet. They put, go into it every time. In Marley beats Rodman going baseline. One for five for Marley. That's his first basket of the game. Remember, he is there shooting and scoring forward now. Averaged uh, nearly 11 a game for the Cavaliers playing in every one of their contests last season. Here's Brown for three. Long range, long rebound. Longley taps it out a la volleyball player to Brown. Now Jordan. Under six minutes to go in the second quarter. Jordan finds Longley. Setting a screen for Scotty Pippen, but Ike Austin stayed with him. And Brown has it deflected by Austin, I think. It was Austin who got a hand on it for the block. Here's Hardaway pulling up. He rushed the shot a bit. Out of bounds, and it's last touched by the Heat. When you have such an outstanding defensive effort, you know, effort, and then you blow it up the floor, you get that uncontested three or a nice 15-foot jumper. The coach, you can see, Pat was like a tight end. That's okay, that's okay, but in your heart, you're saying you got to knock those down. Right. And he runs a very structured offense, as he's told us today. Jordan, over three defenders. If Michael Jordan ever forced a shot, that probably was an example right there. Well, the reason why the red shirts come up with the offensive rebound is that three guys went right uh, like a magnet to Mike. So Longley with six, 42 to 34. Winding down to eight points. Alonzo Morning, who has been on the bench, has scored 17, getting ready to come back in the game. Austin from Kurt Thomas. I tell you, you got to like Kurt Thomas in his all-round game so far. He just made a beautiful play. That's the second nice bounce pass he's made in traffic. And Austin with his second field goal and the turnover into the hands of Austin. Now Marley Danilovich for three. Yes. Yes. Sasha Danilovich with his second from downtown. And after being threatened by the Bulls, they've opened up again a 13-point lead as Miami. By picking up P.J. Brown and Ike Austin, they've added 6'10 and 6'11, two big, long players. You put them with Thomas in there, you have the luxury of taking Morning out of the game. And Sasha Danilovich is 4 for 4 from the field.
TBS NBA Wednesday is brought to you by the new award-winning Jeep Grand Cherokee and by Goodyear. This is it, gentlemen. Finds like these turn careers into legends. It is a legend. I mean, it's responsible for the entire species. I can't believe it's in this kind of shape after so many years. All right, let's get it out of here. Get the grave! Wait! They left the keys in it! The legendary Jeep Cherokee Sport. It could be exactly what you've been searching for. Gravity by Foot Locker. Of all the laws of nature, you are my least favorite. favorite. It's not your fault you exist, but gravity. You are no friend of mine. If you do not belong in my house, my though house. you show up every morning, I defy you, gravity. You are not my obstacle. That grin you see, that's me knowing I will beat you. If only for an Even instant. Even if it's just for an instant. Foot Locker, where it all begins and gravity ends. Here you go. I travel a lot, but you don't have to play in the NBA to visit new places and meet new people. All you have to do is pick up a book, because when you know how to read, adventures come to you. Today's story is Little Shaq Hornet. Yes. So no matter who you are or what you plan to do, learn how to read. It opens up a whole new world. Shaq is gonna be It's a good thing he doesn't play basketball. Back here at the Miami Arena, and it was this past Saturday that Pat Riley took his Miami Heat to Market Square Arena to face Reggie Miller and the Indiana Pacers. The Heat won 97-95, giving Miami its first ever win in Indianapolis, but bigger, gave Pat Riley his 800th career win, the quickest an NBA coach has ever achieved that milestone. Big road win for the Miami Heat, who had defeated the Atlanta Hawks at home in their opener and doing a good job so far against the world champion Chicago Bulls and this this is how they stack up best winning percentage amongst the coaches. Well Pat Riley has been able to do it now in three different franchises and as you look we all know Showtime in L.A. New York the bad boys and uh, the, the rock solid defense and then down here. We said last year he ran through 22 players. Only five guys remain. They did win 42 games. That was the most win in the history of this franchise. And he has a theory. He said eight I will play, seven I will use, six I will rotate, and five I will trust. That is the Pat Riley's theory of uh, how he's going to operate his personnel. Michael Jordan hit on the elbow, and Sasha Danilovich, who has scored 10 points, including two from downtown, has now picked up his third person. One thing that you know when you're around this league a lot, any time that you go up with Michael, you better not get close because if you get a piece of them, they're going to put them on the line. Now, there are some guys who elevate in this league. They get hit, and there are no calls. But I think he does deserve that type of a respect. <laughs> Did you say elevate or levitate? I wasn't sure what you said. <laughs> Jordan makes the both seven of eight from the free throw line and Michael Jordan now with 19 points he leads the Chicago Bulls Alonzo Mourning back in the game with 17 for the Heat and by the way Miami held their own pretty well without Mourning who was out for almost six minutes and were outscored by only two points turned over Thomas lost the ball into the hands of Scotty Pippen with under four minutes to go in the first hand. 47 36 Miami leading by 11. Jordan pulling up and Sasha's not going to get near him. Now he, you can see he really feels it and, and it, it's in the first step. His first step is so quick tonight and then on the quick elevation he's right up over the top of the defender. 21 points for Michael Jordan and a 20 second timeout called for by the Miami Heat. Now just keep an eye on this move. Now once he makes that move there's the stop and he's up. There's nothing that Danilovich can do about it. He's not known as a great defender to begin with, but no one guy is going to stop Michael where he wants to go. Before Michael retired, his first nine years in the league, he averaged 23 shots a game. 
since he has come back, he's averaging 22 shots a game. You are not going to stop him because the shots are there. And there you see, last year, 30.4, 50% from the field. His rebounding was the same. So he picked up where he left off and got another world championship. And tonight has scored 21 of the Bulls' 38 points. I think the other thing you always have to look at his career and say, the six rebounds are there, the six assists are there, he always shot over 50%. He always shot over 84% on the foul line. Then he's always in the top three in steals. And then you say, well, well then again, he does make the first team all defensive team every year. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add an asterisk at the yes, bottom. Right. That. <laughs> right. He turns it over, and with 3.29 to go, the Bulls are making a run. They were down by as much as 15, cut it to eight, and found themselves down by 14. Now they're trailing 47-38. He made a statement in the first quarter. The Heat are playing good basketball, no turnovers. Since that time, turnovers are rash. I will not take credit for jinxing them, however. <laughs> okay. Pippen working against P.J. Brown. One second on the shot clock. Kukoc gets it off just in time oh, wow. and scores from downtown. That's a dagger in the heart sometimes. Yeah, they're back. Six down. The Bulls trail 47 to 41 with under three minutes to go in the first half. Well, you tell you, sooner or later, they'll come after you. Ron Harper with the steal. Crowd thought he double dribbled. It won't matter because he threw it away for a turnover nonetheless. You're allowed to drop the ball and then pick it up as long as you do not move. That was not a turnover. You can see right here now, Coop Coach, here's your shot right in the face. And you know he's a prime town defense, uh, offensive threat. But at this end, they have stolen the ball now four times from the high post player in this quarter. Rodman is guarding Morning now. That's a switch. Longley is out of the game. So Morning working against Dennis Rodman and it's not getting. Morning follows it in. Good second effort by Alonzo Morning, who really is the really the landmark of this club. He is the symbol of the big. Oh, yes. Pippen and Jordan. Jordan put it through. Eye contact. And how about the grab? What a one-handed grab. And a whistle and Rodman. And a loose ball foul. And now keep an eye to the right of your screen. Watch how high up Michael is. Not bad. Not a bad catch. Eye contact. How long have they been doing this? Uh, they've been doing it for so long. Uh, it's just beautiful to watch the two of them play. Now they were just down big here. No, no panic. They kept Michael out for the five minutes because they know that their defense, night in and night out, will bring them back. There's so much confidence. And then they do have two guys who can finish for a little bit. I think they were in our picture there. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Thomas picked up the foul. Rodman hits the first free throw. That'll make all the highlight reels tonight. We can be sure. 49 to 45. And the Heat lead once 15 points now down to four with under two minutes to go in the first half. And the crowd has been quieted by a Chicago Bull defensive display. We made a little statement earlier tonight. Will the post people please meet the pass? <laughs> it's cost them four turnovers this one. Hardaway finds T.J. Brown, who hits a big jumper. That stops the bleeding momentarily for the Miami Heat. Here's Pippen, who's got Jordan, Rodman, Harper, and Kukoc. Minute and a half remaining in the first half. Kukoc, tough baseline shot falling away. Tony Kukoc is red hot now, and he's got seven. And a runner by Hardaway misses, but cleaning up is Morning. Tipped away by Kukoc. That was a great play inside by Tony Kukoc. Harper leaves it for Scotty Pippen, who nails it. And the Chicago Bulls trail now by only a bucket. When you play them, you cannot turn the ball over. And number two, you cannot miss your golden opportunities. And in this half, they have missed a ton down here. Marley with the lay-in inside, 53 to 49, with 45 plus seconds remaining and 20 on the shot clock. Chicago Bulls, to no one's surprise, have come back big here in the second quarter. Scotty Pippen stop and go and draws the foul. Pippen will shoot. He has scored nine thus far. 
Coming up on the Nike Halftime Report, Vince Cellini is joined in our Atlanta studio by Cheryl Miller. Vladi Dibots and his new team take on his old team, the Charlotte Hornets, hosting the Lakers tonight. You'll see highlights of that game and all the other NBA action tonight coming up on the Nike Halftime Report. B.J. Brown has picked up his third foul, so Milovich and Brown both with three personals for the Heat. And coming in is uh, Keith Askins sending P.J. Brown to the bench. From a basketball strategy standpoint, Dennis Rodman is allowed to stay in this game because the Heat did not go to Alonzo Mourning down in low. No way could Dennis keep him from getting a high percentage shot, and if he did, Mourning could beat him to the offensive board. But they chose not to go that route. That's right. And Michael Jordan, as you mentioned, all defense comes down the floor and deflects a pass that could have resulted in an easy layup for the Heat. So it's still Miami's ball. They have. 18 on the shot clock and 29.6 remaining in the first half. Keith Askins, number two, inbounding to Marley. He's got Hardaway, Morning, Kurt Thomas, 12. Here's Askins shooting over Pippen, wild three. Rodman, nowhere to go down for it. And now the Chicago Bulls will play for the last shot of the first half, trailing by only two. And a timeout called by Chicago at the 22nd timeout with 12.8. Well, Pat Riley told us today, he said, you know, if they get up by a half a dozen, you can close the door the way they, the way they play. Well, you have to look at the playoff last year. Chicago knocks them out 3-0. They win by an average of 23 points a game. They turn them over 21 times a game. And then... They out-rebound them by eight. Now, if you think about the second quarter, the turnovers were there in a rash. They're controlling both boards, and all of a sudden, they've narrowed that gap. It's a team that is beautiful to watch because they're never out of a game, because their defense is so solid. They have incredible confidence, and their offense, even if the offense is not flowing because of Pippen and Jordan and Kukos, they can get their shot off the dribble. Scotty Pippen with 11. Michael Jordan has 23. So 34 between those two. They've done it before. There you're looking at the shooting percentages. Miami 55%, still shooting 55, but look at the Bulls. They went from 35 to 59% in the second quarter. They have all their three-point shooters in, and they're going one-on-one. -on -one. Watch the kick out. Kerr, Jordan, Pippen. And Pippen for three. <laughs> That's exactly what they did, Coach Brown. And <laughs> look at another one right here. Get another, another one. one. They yes. get up two. Oh. And get six points in the last 12 plus seconds to end this first half. And the Miami Heat have to still be in shock. What an exhibition. You called it, Hubie. You knew exactly what they would do after the timeout. Michael Jordan hits the three after Scottie Pippen hit the three, and the Bulls finish on a 23-6 run. Well, they bring in Kerr and then Harper, and then they're going for the three. But see, this is careless right now with 2.0 seconds. Watch, see, this is a long pass. Michael just laying in the woods. Beautiful ball fake, and then that one was at least six feet behind the line. You know, you hate to say it for a Miami crowd. They got their money's worth in the last 12 seconds of the first half. Uh, 57 to 53, the Bulls in front after one half. Testing the new Eagle Talon TSI today is Sharon, a professional driving instructor. Ready? Let's go. Talon's all-wheel drive's great for this maneuver. Makes you real popular with road crews, too. Lots of power from the 16-valve turbo, 210 horses. Wouldn't you like to try some parallel parking? Sure. Nice technique. Hey. Right. Really. Test drive the Eagle Talon at your Jeep and Eagle dealer today. Hey, Troy. You've been traded? No. You're not injured? Uh-uh. I got it. Contract holdout. Nope. Well, what then? Babe, I'm joining the tour. But you've never broken 80. But now I got some new clubs. 
Armor TI-100 irons. Pure titanium makes them so easy to hit, they'll not only change your game, they might even change your life. Can I be a caddy? Hey, try this for a mantra. I like the rain. I like the rain. I want it to rain. I want to wallow in the mud and slop with reckless abandon. And when I die, I want to say that I did carpe the diem, no matter how cold, how wet, and how nasty the diem was. The Nike Halftime Report is brought to you by Nike, who encourages you to participate in the lives of America's youth. And welcome back here in Atlanta and a check of the scoreboard showing Chicago with a four-point lead at the half in Miami using a 23-6 run at the end of the half to assume that lead. And hi, everybody, and welcome to the Nike Halftime Report where we cut loose with a swoosh. I'm Vince Gellini along with Gerald Miller. And on a night when four of the six NBA unbeatens tried to keep it that way. And one of those perfectos, the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers, 3-0, and and with Shaq averaging double figures in points and rebounds through those three games. Tonight, the Lakers in Charlotte for game two of a three-game road trip. And the L.A. guys reunited with Vladi Divac. Shaquille O'Neal working on Geigs. Just poking that one in. 12-9 Lakers in the first quarter. Then Anthony Mason likes to put the ball on the floor. And takes it in strong. Hey, Kobe Bryant. Now, in our pregame, we were talking about this kid averaging .5 a game, Cheryl. I told you the kid had skills. <laughs> that is a long, long three-pointer. He's 18, and he knows what he wants. He wants that basketball. Then Eddie Jones. Don't give him the baseline. It's going to hurt you a little bit. He did right there. The Lakers leading at the half, 41-33. But look at the Hornets now. 70 to 67 in the fourth quarter. Shaq had 12 in the first half. 15 now in the game. Vladi is struggling tonight. Detroit, a very happy 3-0 and hosting Dallas, but not happy about this. Grand Hill sitting this one out with a sprained right wrist. X-rays were negative. I think Lane Beer would have played through that injury. Mm. However, here's Jimmy Jackson coming up with a steal to his newest, bestest buddy, Jason Kidd, who finishes with a lay-in an early tie. Speaking of ties, none for Doug Collins. Stacy Ogman now comes up with a steal. When Grant's not in the game, you go to Gentleman Joe. Joe Dumar spotting up for the three. Pistons closed the second quarter with a 14-3 run, the first, rather. And it is 48-39 at the half here in the third quarter. The Pistons taking advantage of the Mavs. Kidd with a dozen. Dumars led with 11 after a half. Back to uh, Charlotte now, Cheryl, mm -hmm. and Vladi Divac. And a guy coming in, changing teams, yeah. struggling a little bit offensively. Mm -hmm. He was averaging six and a half a game after two games. Well, you know, I think, Vince, it's a matter of being aggressive, and that certainly hasn't been the, been the case for Vladi Divac. As a matter of fact, I think his lack of presence in the middle will eventually hurt the perimeter game, especially when you think of Dale Curry and when a healthy uh, Glenn Rice gets back. It's going to allow teams to just play them straight up defensively. Now, when you look and compare uh, Vladi Divac to some of the other centers around the country, man, look at O'Neal. 29 attempts, Vladi Divac, you can't stand on the perimeter and shoot them shots and expect to get to the free throw line. This guy certainly hasn't been getting the job done. Now, Vince, I know a lot of people will say it's an unfair comparison to some of these guys, but Vladi Divac definitely has the skills to compete with these guys in the league. Well, he doesn't have the numbers. He may have a win tonight, though, over Let's the Lakers so. uh, with them in town. We have to break, but coming up on the Nike Halftime Report, the entire Miller family is going to be here, including Cheryl's crazy Uncle Foster. Okay. No, we don't have him. We do have some Reggie video, though. He came out smoking at the Fleet Center. Those highlights and more coming up. When I took the high endurance challenge from Old Spice, I really thought it was going to be a challenge. I mean, this is a challenge. This is a sure thing. It evaporates less quickly. It also lasts longer. It protects better. Old Spice guarantees it. If you don't think it's the best, you call 1-800-PROVE-IT, and they'll buy you a stick of your old deodorant. So if you're looking for a real challenge, go climb a mountain. If you're looking for the best deodorant, try High Endurance from Old Spice. Because now you got proof. Guaranteed. When developing the Seiko Kinetic Watch, we applied for 50 patents. How could we fit them all inside? We took out the battery. Seiko Kinetic, the amazing quartz watch that never needs a battery.
for a ride, sir. Isn't that heavenly? I don't smell anything. Precisely. Because Delta is the first US airline to fly totally smoke-free worldwide. So it's clear skies anywhere you go. <sighs> Are you hyperventilating? No, I'm English. Oh. And welcome back to our Atlanta studios. NBA on TBS. First ever Wednesday of the season for us. And we welcome you back to the Nike Halftime Report. The Indiana pace has been slow, very slow. 0-2 slow, but tonight a chance to break into the wind column against fellow struggler Boston, a team that looked very sharp for two quarters on opening night, and they also slipped to 0-2 on a night when little brother Reggie Miller was all set to go and all set to shoot. Mm-hmm. Reggie knocking down the long tray. Gonna turn around and address the Boston crowd. Don't you know it's the whiskers? <laughs> he had room to talk. He outscored Boston 18-17 to in the first quarter alone, but look at the Celtics come back. Dino Raja with the lay-in. 58-41, though. Indy still in front. Now, later in the third quarter, Rick Fox finds Dino again. And the foul. Celtics tie this game at 64. In fact, Indiana was ice cold in the third quarter. Outscored 38-8 to eight in the third. That eight was a franchise low, so the, the Celtics turning this thing around. But in the fourth quarter, about four and a half left. It's the Celtics with a three-point lead. The Spurs, they don't score much. They don't give up too many points either. At US Air Arena, facing the Bullets, and Chris Webber follows his miss, and then the put back 14 points and 10 rebounds in the first half alone later in the second quarter no david robinson sean elliott assuming the scoring duties and he does part of a 10-2 run then 45 43 spurs here and dominique wilkins the highlight from greece with love <laughs> 70 to 67 in the fourth elliott has 15 in the game howard with 20 weber 14 points and 0-3 meets 2-0. Milwaukee was hosting the Grizz this evening. Vancouver was routed by Chicago last night. You see that score in the first quarter from Milwaukee. Cheryl, back to the Washington Bullets. Playing the waiting game now with the big 7-foot oh, yeah. center, George Murasan. Is what, the right hip flexor injury mm -hmm. now? What's the status on Big George? Well, to hear Coach Lynham talk about it, this guy is so excited that his big man is coming back. Matter of fact, he practiced with the team, not full contact. He's steadily improving. They're anticipating Big George coming back next week against Detroit. And you talking about a team looking forward to the big guy. This is what <laughs> they have to look forward to from the Big George Murison. The big fella on the inside with the rebounds. Now watch Big George on the defensive end. Nice recovery. Oh, I love the way you toss it, Big George. And now with the nice offensive end, nice up and under with a nice hook underneath. I'll tell you, they're really looking forward to Big George. I mean, here's a guy that last season finished scoring, uh, finished with shooting 59% from the floor. They really miss his presence in the middle. Yeah, Rod Strickland was asked about his return. They said, well, you have to adjust to Big George being back. He says, no, I'm not going to have to adjust that much. Hey, man, make he, sure you make sure you watch him down the middle. He's going to take care of him, I think. <laughs> All right, talk about a hurting George Murasan. Speaking of hurts, Denver forward LaFonso Ellis. Out four to six weeks, he is set for surgery Friday on his left knee. Ellis injured the knee last night against the Clippers. Trying to take a little jump shot here. He had to leave the game just two minutes in. Could no longer go. Another tough break for a very, very good guy. Since his Ironman campaign, his rookie year, when he played all 82, Ellis has been missing in action over the past couple of seasons, sitting out 113 contests in that span. All right, Cheryl, this really hurts. Yeah. Uh, I don't mean a, it's a bad pun, mm -hmm. but because uh, Denver needed his scoring maybe more than ever this oh, year. Oh, in a huge way. I mean, you look at Don McLean is gone, and Mahmoud Abdul Rauf is no longer with the team either. And LaFonso Ellis, they were really counting on his scoring. But you know what? From a personal matter, I know what it's like to suffer a knee injury. It's, it's debilitating, and the recovery time is long. And here's a guy that's had to go through it multiple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tough break for LaFonso. Very, very tough. All right, back in a moment with more on the Nike Halftime Report. Got a ball game going on in Miami. Michael Jordan at the end of the first half, burying a three. 26 after two quarters there. Miami trailing by four at the half. We'll be right back. Ice Sport. The scent of exhilaration. New from Aquavelva. Also available in deodorant and antiperspirant. Do I like to shop? Oh, yeah. How you doing? Franks and beans, aisle five. Beans and franks, aisle seven. Hi. Hi. Fat free. Nothing but car. 
Check this out. You are one million shopper. Even at the supermarket, you can do more with the American Express card. I love this card. Where do you go to save this holiday season? The Ace Season Savings Sale, where you'll find help with your gift and decorating needs at special holiday savings. During the holidays, Ace is a place with the helpful hardware folks. Celebrating the NBA at 50, Nestle brings you one-on-one, -on -one, a matchup of NBA stars past and present. For 13 years in the 70s and 80s, Tiny Archibald was a small guard who could completely dominate a big man's game. The 6'1 point guard used his lightning quickness and heady play to lead Boston to a title. Detroit's Lindsey Hutter has the same type of dynamic offensive skills that made Tiny so special. The Pistons hope his offensive talents can bring glory back to Detroit. Well, Lindsey Hunter will have his work cut out, as will his teammates Friday night when Michael Jordan and the Bulls invade Auburn Hills. That's part of a doubleheader for us on TNT. That's the first game, then it's the Nets and Magic following. In the second game, the back-to-back -back games played in Tokyo. Also, you don't want to miss the NBA at 50, the world premiere November 13th, 8 p.m. Eastern time on TNT. A wonderful special. Catch that. Give you a scoring update from the Fleet Center now. It is the Pacers and the Celtics. And you can see that it's Boston holding the seven point lead now. And very late in the fourth quarter, we'll get you caught up on that one in the post game show after our game in Miami. Bulls in the Heat, Chicago 57 53. Dick Stockton and Hubie Brown will be along for the second half in just a moment. Stay with us. The Nike Halftime Report has been brought to you by Nike who encourages you to participate in the lives of America's youth. Sad, isn't it? Finding out you paid too much for your stereo. Circuit City, you can't find a lower price. We guarantee it. You know, working at AutoZone is more than just looking up parts or ringing up sales. Most of all, it's listening. Because my customers know more about their cars than I'll ever know. They know every rattle by heart. I mean, that car is their baby. So when they got a problem they're going to fix themselves, I'm going to do my best to help them get whatever they need, no matter what it takes. Because people like that, they don't deserve anything less than the best I can give them. The Monstars stole the talent from the NBA players. Forget the season. Time to play a little basketball. Forget the playoffs. You're mine. Forget the finals. On November 15th, there's only one basketball game that counts. Michael Jordan, Bugs Bunny, and the NBA's best in a comedy of epic proportions. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. Ooh. Space Jam, rated PG, starts Friday, November 15th. When planning your next vacation, call the expert, your AAA travel agent, for an uncompromising escape with Holland America West Tours, AAA's choice for Alaska cruise and tour packages, where right now Alaska vacations start at just $899. AAA also offers members exclusive extras on Holland America West Tours cruises and tours. For details, call 1-800-374-1183. Travel with someone you trust. AAA Travel Services. This is South Beach. The NBA is celebrating its 50th anniversary. South Beach in Miami and inside a sold out Miami arena where at halftime with the Chicago Bulls stunning the Miami Heat with a late spurt leading 57 to 53. He'll be amazingly the Chicago Bulls scored 23 points in the last four minutes and 10 seconds. That would translate out to 66 points for a quarter. That was phenomenal the way they came off. That was a great ending. Uh, their defense was spectacular in the second quarter, forcing seven turnovers. You look at him, Jordan, 26 points. Where did Pippen score 14 points? Dennis Rodman did his usual, nine boards, five offensive rebounds. He wove it in there. That's right. <laughs> coach comes off the bench, does his thing, and they just stay solid. Let's take a look at uh, some halftime statistics. The Heat 
out shooting the Bulls 55 to 48. They were pretty consistent, but you saw Chicago made that run. Alonzo Mourning has already exceeded his uh, playoff average against the Bulls last year when they went down three straight in the first rounds of the playoff and has doubled the rebounding output. But this was the last 12 seconds of the half. Now keep an eye on Hardaway. See, Hardaway just looks at Pippen. Pippen is thinking nothing but a three. Now this is where everything was compounded. Thomas tries to throw a half-court pass. You never do that. Jordan, there was right to two red shirts, and then Jordan just knocks it down. Key stat in this half, Chicago Bulls 13 for 17 from the foul line. Now Alonzo Mourning had a spectacular half himself. You can see the touches, very little double teaming. His shooting is a, a good job. Also, he has six offensive rebounds to throw into that mix. And so Michael, he, yeah. I'm sorry, Doug. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I, he's doing his job. He just needs some more help. And there you see what Jordan has done against the defenders against him. Yeah, and, and it's multiple defenders. No one guy is going to play him during the course of the night. Uh, they said at least three or four guys would take a chance. And, of course, uh, Jordan uh, and the Bulls went on a tear when uh, Danilovich picked up his third foul. The Heat was up by 13, and that's when the Chicago Bulls went to town. And uh, Pat Riley telling us today he knows he has two scores in Morning and Hardaway, although Hardaway scored only seven. Where's the third score going to come from? And that could be the problem. Uh, Thomas started out strong with five, and uh, Austin may show some promise, but he doesn't have that third score. Well, Danilovich and Marley are two guys who are averaging 14 points from right now, but we're talking about the long haul, the night in and night out consistency, and in that playoff time, who is going to be that third guy? They need a guy who can come to this team that can get you 20 to 35. Now that's what we mean by a trade acquisition. Well, who knows? Possible, right? Because they're developing a lot of players here right now, Dick. They really are. Uh, you have to like their ball club, but their shortcoming we could see. Uh, and, and the main thing also is their post play guys, the young people, stop trying to do too much. Just do the meat and potatoes. So we start the second half with uh, Hardaway and Danilovich at guard. Danilovich playing with three. Kirk Thomas up front with uh, Marley and Alonzo Morton. The Bulls with the Jordan, Rodman, Pippen, Harper, and Longley. So the same five who started the game for both teams in there now. Hardaway misses a three, rebound Jordan. Hardaway scored only seven points, kind of rushed things a little bit in the uh, first half, but he was a great settling influence after his uh, acquisition from Golden State last year. He played very well down the stretch. Jordan with a jumper. Ooh, wow. and a foul is called. Now Rodman just took the hard spell. He really did. You could hear the echo. Kirk Thomas with his uh, second personal foul. Jordan or Rodman is sporting a red and black hairdo. Colors of the team. Now keep an eye down inside now to the left of the screen. You're going to see it right here. Now you get, Rodman came over the back of Thomas, and Thomas also aided him in hitting the floor. Longley with a hook shot. Wild hook by Longley. Oh, he tripped. I think. <laughs> Hardaway working against Pippen. Beat him off the dribble. Feeds Morning. And everything but the basket that time. It worked it well. Both Hardaway and Morning came up empty. So it's still 57-53 in favor of the Bulls in the opening moments of the second half. Jordan hits. Nothing's changed for him. And Michael Jordan now with 28 points. And the Miami Heat quickly call a 20-second timeout. Yeah, it's a good move by Pat. That, that's excellent strategy. Right now, he is not happy with the way the offense is moving. Hardaway is now one for four and three, and he's just trying to calm him down right now. And let's start paying a lot more attention to some key people here. You know, things aren't going to get easier for the Miami Heat, Hubie. They will go on a road trip, including six games in the Pacific and Mountain time zone, nine back-to-backs, Three against this team, two against the Bulls, 14 road games. So the Heat want to, uh, you know, do something while they can uh, play at home here for a while. Yeah, the only the upside of that is is when they come back, they're going to have an awful lot of home games. You know, everyone has to go through this. Very the perceptive. NBA. Yeah, you know, yeah that right. That's absolutely right. <laughs> Biggest lead of the game for the Chicago Bulls right now is six. A good example, the Atlanta Hawks. They start out struggling. They go 0-2. Oh, they got to go to Portland. Well, they'll probably get hammered out there. They, they, they handle Portland, and then they crucify Seattle at Seattle by 25. So how do you think? That's right. Minute and a half, 
has gone by. Here's Danilovich missing a jumper, the long rebound into the hands of Scotty Pippen. Six point lead for the Chicago Bulls. Hardaway quickly picks up Harper. Touch pass longly to Rodman, but Thomas is with him. And Rodman doesn't make it. Thomas, he looks like he's going to be a good one. 6 9 out of TCU. Marley wide open for three. And those are the threes the Heat have to make. That's why we want to emphasize to you they're leading the league in attempts. 23 threes a night. So anytime you take that amount of threes, you must come in with seven to nine makes. And Marley himself only two for seven from the field, so he is ice cold and has scored only four points in the game. Pippen working against Marley. Thomas did a good job of coming over to double team and the rebound by Morning. Well, Pat Riley said that Thomas understands their defensive rotations better than anyone. Marley still trying away. Two for eight now as uh, Marley misses two long range attempts. And he is 0 for 5 from downtown. Michael Jordan tries to stuff it through against Morning. It is deflected out of bounds. Riley says it's heat ball and the referees agree with him. Last touch by the Bulls. Well, Michael is yelling that, you know, right now to both referees that the ball was hit. And you can see right there, there could have been, could have been a hand on the ball as he went for the dunk. Thomas with a turnaround. And that doesn't drop. So the Heat are not getting any kind of break as far as some of those shots dropping for. Them. The score remains 59-53 in favor of the Bulls. A little more than three minutes gone by. Scoop shot by Rodman. Very aggressive play underneath. Pippen keeps it alive, and here's Ron Harper for three, and he's got it. We just had a major collision where Morning went down, Rodman went down, they were all tangled up. Marley with a reverse lay-in. Oh, that does it go. Everything not working for the Heat, everything clicking for the Chicago Bulls. And here is Harper with another three. That's two in a row by Ron Harper. And they now call it a two-point basket by Ron Harper. But the Heat will take it. And a timeout called, and the Bulls have opened up an 11-point spread, 64 to 53. We'll be right back. TBS NBA Wednesday is brought to you by Fila, Change the Game, and by GMC, putting you comfortably in command. A long time ago, someone said, I'm better than you. Daredevil, strap in. Needles bury, knuckles whiten, and dready rockets by. Cars no longer drive, they fly. Suddenly, gears incinerate. Speed defeats time. Men go so fast, fear can't catch them. They intimidate walls, defy limits. Cheap disaster. And screaming above the deafening roar, you hear, I'm better than you, and I can prove it. And ready racing. If it's in the game, EA Sports, it's in the game. I got a lot accomplished this week. Thanks to Jimmy's versatility. Let's see. Hauled the love seat in for reupholstering on Monday. Thanks to Jimmy's cargo space. Took the kids to soccer practice Wednesday. With its spacious interior and luxury ride. Bought groceries. You can do a lot in a Jimmy. And now, a weekend getaway. Jimmy by GMC. It puts you comfortably in command. be a job like this you get to sit courtside every night watch the world's best athletes what i try to do is just add a little twist of my own to the game Down i like the individual play i'm sort of a highlight guy here comes superman michael Jordan. i've got the best job in the world well maybe i've got the second best job in the world Well, right now you're going to see Miami has missed a number of easy shots. Right now they're coming up on the break and it'll come to the right of your screen. Now watch as Harper makes this catch. It was very close, but you can see right there he catches the three-point line. So when he makes this shot, it's only a two. The Chicago Bulls have scored 15 consecutive points carrying over from the final minute of the second quarter. And to make things worse for the Heat, they are 0 for 7. They're in the refrigerator, shooting-wise, here in the quarter. So it's 64-53. Marley misses a three. See, any time that this happens to you, and you get, your coaches have got to have, like, a clock. You, you go 7-0, 8-0. You've got to go down inside, get the high percentage shot, if not get fouled. 
Well, instead, Jordan yes. gets the basket and gets fouled. Showtime. He wasn't even looking at the basket when he went up for that shot. Let's face it. That's right. He was looking towards us. <laughs> well, you're going to see this. He just happened to throw it up over his head. Now, just watch this. As he spins baseline, he comes into the traffic, just throws it up, well, hoping. He, he peaked. Peaked the theme and like that. Michael even said that was a neat one. And a three-point play by Michael Jordan, who now has 31 points, and that is his season tie. Jordan previously had 30 in the season opener against the Boston Celtics. 14-point lead for the Chicago Bulls. And illegal defense called against Chicago, and that's the first one of the game. And the Bulls, Bill Jackson's upset, and why not? His team is on an 18-0 run, Hubie. Yeah, right now... <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. Everything is going his way. He just spent the entire time out over trying to argue with the referees that Michael Jordan's shot was blocked. Out of bounds. Maybe that's why they've won four titles in six years. Who knows? Take them strong, though. No jump shot here. Joe does it. He goes outside to Danilovic, and he'll take the three. Sasha with his third from downtown. And it's 67-56, so the Heat down by 11. They were once up, believe it or not, by 15 in the first Guarding Pippen, Jordan. And now Longley, high post, nowhere to go with it. He's doing a good job of fronting the entry pass, and Harper has to rush a shot at the buzzer. But there is Harper getting the ball in a new clock for the Bulls. And they're, they're just quicker right now. You can see that they've left their wake up floor. They, they're all oh, great. Great. Oh, oh, baseline. No. Wow. Luke Law. I didn't know he had it in him. Oh. Did he send that down strong? Do you know he had that in him? No, I have to admit, that was really quick. Hardaway misses a three, and Rodman the rebound. And let's see, Thomas and Rodman Rod the line. Let's see Luke Longley again. That's got to be a picture book play for the Australians. Watch him spin to the baseline now. You see, he feels the defender now come up underneath. No way could a warning block that shot. Always come up underneath the basket, knock the defender off with the rim. Did not play for the Australian Olympic team because of the surgery on the bone spurs. But Shane, uh, Shane Hill did. Shane Hill, a three point. Yes, and he made the uh, Minnesota team this year. We were impressed with the Australian we saw that. They played well in the Olympic. They sure did. Jordan, basket counts and a foul, and that'll be four on Sasha Danilovic. Yeah, see, he did get it. See, he got him again. Now, see, if, if I were coaching Danilovic right now, I'd say to him right now, how many shots have you blocked with Jordan's tonight? Okay? <laughs> That's a good you point. know, really, I'd ask him a good question. You know, I'm mean, trying to be, you know, in your face. See, he keeps going for the shot block. He has not blocked one of his shots. And he has fouled him three so times. Why is he all over? What's now? the cardinal rule of defense? Do not foul a jump shooter. You've told me that for years. <laughs> and, uh, one of these days I'll learn. <laughs> yeah, right. 34 points for Michael Jordan. And it's 72 to 56. Peter threatening to turn this game into a round. Kirk Thomas with a spinning move. Thomas with seven points in the game. 72 58 nearing the halfway mark of this third quarter thing right now is just don't pan. Take your time, get back and play some defense. Pippen misses a three, and Alonzo Mourning, the rebound, has his 13. Uh-oh, this is another collision right here. Rodman and Thomas have now had three collisions in this game, two in the last two minutes. Now, you, you have, somebody's got to be careful. I keep an eye on this right now. See, right there, Thomas grabs him by the shirt. Rodman steps in front of him. Now, who needs... An unnecessary injury, and pretty soon one of these two guys is going to get hurt. Because that's the third time they have tumbled and fallen into uh, the hardwood. Danilovic goes out with four fouls, and number 21, Bashan Leonard, in his second year from Minnesota, replaces him, makes a great pass as Harper fouls Morning going to the basket, and Rodman has to calm down Zoe. Has to calm down Zoe here. Well, that was a beautiful screen and roll and a nice pass by Leonard. Leonard, by the way, is in for his uh, shooting purposes, and we're taking a look now at the GMC scoreboard. Detroit with a good come-from-behind win over Philadelphia, winning again. Washington over San Antonio to the delight of Marty Aronoff. 
<laughs> and uh, Milwaukee in front as well as uh, Morning misses the first free throw. Morning this evening is now three for six on the line. Morning with 19 points, looking for his 20th. Fine all-round game, but you gotta have support for a player like Alonzo Morning. He's got 20 now, and it's 72 to 59 in favor of the Bulls. Jordan with 34 points out there with Harper, Longley, Rodman, and Scotty Pippen. Turnaround by Jordan. He is phenomenal. Anytime they hit him in the post like that, they are backdooring the guy from the corner and the man from the top, leaving Michael one on one. Right away, driving to the basket is fouled, so 36 now for Michael Jordan. And Tim Hardaway to the line. We could watch number 23 and his exploits all night. You can see they're clearing out. They just cut everyone through, and that allows Michael to just take his man. Now, in the first half, he spun three times to the baseline and beat Danilovich to the basket. That time, and that's always there for him, the fadeaway. Now, there's the 6'6 Jordan working against Hardaway at six foot even with Danilovich on the uh, bench. And Harper, or Jordan, could have posted up against him. Tony Kukoc back into the game for Chicago. Kukoc scored seven in the first half, including one from downtown as Longley goes out. Well, right now, Dennis Rodman will play morning because he moves to the center position. Tim Hardaway came over in a trade last February from Golden State. Scored 30, by the way, against these Bulls in game one of the playoffs. And averaged uh, eight assists. He makes the free throws to cut the lead to 13 right now with 5'10 remaining in the third. Miami led by 11 at the quarter. The Bulls by four at the half. Jordan up and under over Hardaway, and it drops for him. 38 for Michael Jordan. He's having a blast today. Well, that's the danger when you say that you're going to put a six-foot point guard on him. Rashawn Leonard. And Morning fights for the offensive rebound. Did a good job. In and out. Harper releasing down court. Pippen finds Harper. Well, Michael Jordan is having maybe the most relaxed game he's had in quite a while. Well, see, that time Pippen was upset. See, Pippen wanted a good pass because, once again, Hardaway was playing a post-up player, and Scotty just said something to Kukas. He said, look, come on, he's fronting me. All he'll do is give me a decent lob. And this team will talk to their teammates coming up floor if they don't like something. That's why they're champions. They don't wait till uh, the budget or the timeout. Alonzo Morning with 22 points. He's like a one-man gang out now there for the Heat. Well, anytime that you're a bull and, and you're out here right now and you have made your mismatches, they're one of the few teams in the league that sees the mismatches and then tries to take advantage of them. Jordan, double team, misses the jumper and the rebound by Marley. Jordan guarding Hardaway. Wide open for Sean Leonard. Say, in all fairness to the Heat, a lot of their shots have ridden the basket and gone in and out. Well, do you get a, a quarter of a point for that or what? New rules? No rules. New coach trying to split the difference. Harper left open for three. Ron Harper now with his third from downtown. He has more three point baskets than anyone for the Chicago Bulls tonight. They've opened up a 79 63 lead. Thomas with a turnaround gets the basket. Kurt Thomas now with nine points and a timeout called for the Chicago Bulls. 79 65. The Bulls have quieted this capacity crowd considerably. Big shots, 805 Eastern, every Saturday night on TBS.
Up here, I feel like traffic is miles away. With Yukon's commanding view and accommodating size, unlike some others, I have virtually unlimited capacity. Yukon can make you feel invincible. Yukon by GMC. It puts you comfortably in command. of Robert Parrish, and tonight he is merely chief sitting bull. He has not played the last two games. He has yet to play tonight. And Robert Parrish, 43 years old. That's correct. And uh, Parrish setting an NBA record for most seasons for an NBA player. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played 20 years, and now this is his 21st season. And he could be perfect fit for the Chicago team. He's played extremely well. And you can see right now the oldest teams in the league to spray everyone's talking about the Bulls that their starters are 32 years of age but at least they're working on it and trying to do something to get the guys ready for playoff time. Going back to Robert Paris there have only been 10 guys in the history of this league that have average that have scored 20,000 points and 10 rebounds. Robert Parrish is one of the 10. Wow. Michael Jordan is out and he's sitting next to Robert Parrish. Maybe he'll pick up some wisdom. Here's Pippen working against Marley. Good defense by Morning. Got a piece of that one. That's the fourth block for Alonzo Morning. Good feet to Rashawn Leonard. Tipped in by P.J. Brown for the Miami Heat. The Heat now with Brown, Marley, Hardaway, Rashawn Leonard, and Alonzo Morning. Steve Kerr replaced Jordan. Here is Randy Brown. So it's a small backcourt for Chicago with Kerr and Brown, but longly back with two coach and Pippen. Here's Brown. Long rebound. Tipped by Marley right to Longley, who lays it in for his 10 point. If Miami is coming back, Hardaway and Marley must contribute. They must contribute big. Danilovich right now is in foul trouble with four. So these are the only other two guys who can help Morning out. Bashan Leonard lays it in, and Hubie, you talk about Marley and Hardaway combined. They have only 13 points. To well, that's why we, you know, you got you got to get these two guys cooking right now. They they must step up. Puko. and the rebound by Alonzo Morning. He's got 16 off the glass tonight for the Heat. Trail 81-69 can cut it to 10 or less here with 140 remaining in the third quarter. P.J. Brown wants to take him. Marley with Pippen on him. Brown over Kukoc. And the other side, Pippen with a lead pass to Tony Kukoc. Out of bounds. Turned over to the Miami Heat. Well, a big NBA doubleheader comes your way this Friday on TNT beginning at 8 p.m. when Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls take on Grant Hill and the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons have been red hot. Then in game two, all the way from Japan, where Hubie will commute to after this one, the New Jersey Nets take on the Orlando Magic. And Tuesday night, the NBA on TNT continues when Shaq and the Lakers face Hakeem Olajuwon, Charles Barkley, and the Houston Rockets. Dan Marley, and that's what you were talking about, getting uh, Marley going. Yeah, he has to become more assertive off the dribble. The outside shot is not there right now. So you, you just can't disappear. You've got to take the ball to the hoop. Ten-point lead now for the Chicago Bulls with under a minute to go. And a blind pass to Coach. Pippen can't save it. So the Bulls have turned it over on two successive times down the court. And Chicago will call timeout. And Phil Jackson is upset and will come out to the middle of the court. And he should be. Johnny Pippen has been fronted twice in the post. He's wide open. They cleared out the backside. And both times, Kukoc has thrown the pass too long out of bounds. 20-second timeout, and Phil doesn't seem that upset. But he's got a deep voice. <laughs> oh, my. Well, you're back to 10. 
Yeah, 47 seconds. Let's go. You, you just got to make sure right now that you get a good percentage shot. You keep it 10. Hopefully you can get it to 8. You're at home. And then maybe you can step it up and get something going here in this last quarter. Pat Riley's Heat were up by 15 points in the second quarter tonight. Off the uh, wings of an 11 point first quarter lead. And then the Bulls went wild, including a brilliant 6.2 shot from downtown effort in the last 12 seconds. Since Michael Jordan has gone to the bench, the Heat have outscored the Bulls 6 to 2. As you look at the shooting percentage since the first quarter, Miami way down and the Bulls are way up. Six seconds on the shot clock for the Bulls with 47.4 in the third. Longley looking for help, deflected by Morning. He picks it off, so three turnovers in a row by the Bulls. Now you want to get something out of this quick so that you would get another possession. We are not understanding the two for one deal here. It was two turnovers, they kept possession the last time, but they're not protecting the ball very well. Eight on the shot clock. Morning facing against Longley with the jumper, and he's got it. Morning now with 24 points. See, Dick, by taking that long of a period of time, you got it down inside of 20-some seconds. Now the Bulls can run out the clock. They had a good opportunity to go two for one. Right. But it's 81-73, and the Heat have come to within eight points after being down by 16. Kukos, goaltending called against Morning. Yeah. And credit Tony Kukos with the basket. You know, I want to say something about goaltending. The shot, the shot has got to have an opportunity of going in. So right there, you can see that ball was going to not hit the backboard perfectly for that. That's like pass interference in the NFL. If a ball is not going to be caught in the what? In the what? The N NFL. NFL it's National another sport. Family League or what? What is that? It's another sport. Here. Is that rugby? Or... I was playing a few times. Here is Grant oh. missing at the buzzer. But in the NFL, if a pass cannot be caught, they don't call pass interference. That's similar to what you're talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. It's a judgment call. Michael Jordan has scored 38 points in 28 minutes and after three here at the Miami Arena. The Bulls, 83, the Heat, 73. than pure unbridled power is the ability to harness it. Sierra by GMC, putting you comfortably in command. Gravity by Foot Locker. Of all the laws of nature, you are my least favorite. favorite. It's not your fault you exist, but gravity. You are no friend of mine. You do not belong in my house. My house. Though you show up every morning. I defy you, gravity. You are not my obstacle. That grin you see, that's me knowing I will beat you. If only for an Even instant. Even if it's just for an instant. Foot Locker, where it all begins and gravity ends. Aluminum. Most new car radiators are made of it, making them a big target for pitting and failure. But Prestone Antifreeze bonds with aluminum, forming the Prestone Zone of protection against corrosion. This winter, protect your car in the Prestone Zone. Roll into Pep Boys right now and get a full set of four 70,000-mile tires for just $169. That's any size, any four 70,000-mile tires in stock for just $169 at Pep Boys now. This is Vince Cellini back at the TBS studios with an update from Charlotte. The Lakers were looking to go 4-0 and at the Hive tonight and facing old pal Vladi Divac, but another big man from the Hornets hurt them. Matt Geiger, who had eight three-pointers in his career, four tonight, 22 points, 10 rebounds, and the Lakers lose their first of the year, 88-78. Let's send it back to Miami now with Dick and Juby. Thank you very much, uh, Vince, and welcome back. We start the fourth quarter with the Bulls leading the Heat 83-73, and if... Uh, Phil Jackson's concerned. Uh, Michael Jordan sat out the last three minutes of the quarter, but he's in there now. Normally, he sits out the beginning of the quarters 
But he's in there now to start with uh, Steve Kerr, Tony Kukoc, Dennis Rodman, and Bill Wennington making his first appearance of the game. All right, now he wants to keep one of his quality guys out there and score, either Pippen or Jordan. He decided to Jordan. Wennington misses the jumper, and Gary Grant, who opens with uh, Bashan Leonard, P.J. Brown, Dan Marley, and Alonzo Morning. Come on, you got to get the ball into Morning. See, Alonzo is really upset. He had Wennington pinned right in the lane. Ten on the shot clock. Jordan trying to deny. Too far out is Morning. Driving against Wennington goes up and draws the foul. That was his only play. Right now, let's check in with Dick Versace. Well, Dick and Yubi, I just got out of the uh, Pat Riley huddle. He's exhorting his team not to sit, not to feel that the game is over with. He's saying, hey, we just need a few stops. Yubi, you can explain what a stop is. But he says we can get right back in this. Back to you guys. Well, I would think down by 10 going into the final quarter, you're not out of the game. No, of course not. And, and, and you're, you're at home. All you need is a little spurt. You want your second unit right now to do it for you. Phil counteracted that by saying, hey, I'm going to put my second unit in there, but I'm leaving Rodman to, for the rebounding to play their center position, but then I'm leaving Michael in there to solidify the offense. By the way, Michael Jordan committed his first personal foul. Morning hits both free throws. He's got 26 in the game, and it's 83 to 75. Eight points. I remember the Bulls led by 16 in the third quarter, so the Heat have staged a rally here. Kerr has it over to uh, Jordan, who's guarded by Deshaun Leonard. Kerr fires up a quick three, and Morning gets go. it into the hands of Gary Grant, pushing it up, oh, knocked man. away by Kerr. Grant made a bad pass, and here comes a two-on-one break, and Rodman is fouled by P.J. Brown, but traveling is called against Dennis Rodman before he was fouled. If they get the lucky call there, plus the foul was a solid call, because Dennis Rodman is a 56% foul shooter, so you know you're not going to let him get a layup. Now, right here, that's a bad pass. They just could have taken their time and posted morning. Now you're going to see right here. This is a good pass by Michael, and there was the extra step. Questionable, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much, yeah. Well, in the NBA, it's questionable. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're watching. Yes, yeah, eight point <laughs> lead. Here is Morning working against Winnington with a fall away. No fall away. So you can't fall away with Winnington. You have to take Winnington to the hole and force Winnington to try to block the shot. Rodman with 14 off the glass now. Opening minute and a half of this fourth quarter, and Jordan is fouled by Vashon Leonard. I like Leonard's defense on Michael off the dribble here now, two possessions. Now that time he got caught with, with the uh, hand check, but he has he's really moved his feet, quick feet. See, in this situation, you have such an advantage. There's no way that Winnington can play you off the dribble going strong in the lane. Never throw the fadeaway jump shot. Why? Because you cannot get to the offensive glass. If you take it in and shoot the baby hook, you can beat him with your quickness if you miss and get on the offensive board. Who coach? Met by Marley. 14 on the shot clock. Jordan. Great double punt. Threw up an, a rare air ball for him and a loose ball foul called against the Miami Heat. And uh, that will be against Thomas, I believe. And that will be four on Kurt Thomas. Yeah, Dennis uh, Rodman worked himself down inside that time. And uh, Thomas realized that he was behind. He gave Dennis a push. Rodman will inbound. Both Bucos looking low. Leonard very nearly stole the ball from uh, Michael Jordan. You're right. He's doing a great blanket job on Jordan. Even though he gets the basket, Leonard stayed with him as well as any human being could. Michael Jordan jumped four feet in the air, went out of bounds, and shot the ball around the back. And something to say to Pat Riley coming up the court. 40 points now for Michael Jordan. Here is Kurt Thomas bottled up. Grant fires it up and is fouled. That's a two-point basket attempt. Let's see Michael Jordan and his antics as he scored his 40th. Now, Michael was... was well, look at the trap. There's the trap. Now, here he comes down, and he's saying, you know what? I'm going up anyway, and I'm going to shoot that around that backboard. And let's take a look at the McDonald's game reset. Michael Jordan, 40 points in the 30 minutes. The Bulls with a big 18 to nothing run between the second and third quarters, and morning has been magnificent for the Miami Heat tonight. 
Here is Gary Grant hitting the first free throw, missing the second. And it's an 85-76 lead for the Bulls with 9.23 to go in the fourth. And Gary Grant over and back called against Steve Kerr. Good play by Grant. Yeah, now right now, you know, Phil Jackson is up right now, and he has a right to complain because the defender definitely did get a piece of that ball, knocking the ball into the backcourt. So P.J. Brown will inbound. It's Brown, Gary Grant, Kurt Thomas, Dan Marley, and Bashan Leonard for the Heat. Bulls have turned it over five times in the last four and a half minutes. That's unlike, that's on bull like Marley misses. Loose ball. Marley's missed a lot of shots tonight. They expected a lot more offense from him. He's three for 12 from the field. He's Dan Marley. Jordan shooting over Leonard for three. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Chicago Bulls. You know, I hate to say this because it, it, oh, sounds, say it, anyway. no, it sounds ridiculous. But Sean Leonard is doing a good job on Michael. I mean, he, he's moving his feet. Okay he's forcing to Michael to jump up over the top of him. And Michael is trying to make some difficult shots here. Kurt Thomas short with the uh, turnaround. And it's still Miami's ball. Well, this is the problem with Miami. Alonzo Mourning is out. They do not have another established post-up play. Now, you can throw it in all you want, and the Chicago Bulls do not have to double-team anyone, and when you don't have to double-team, you stay and hug the three-point shooters. Especially when you're that athletic and uh, you've got so much versatility and uses people like Pippen, who's coming back in the game. Tim Hardaway replaced Gary Grant. Wennington goes out. And Scotty Pippen and Ron Harper back here. Leonard with the ball. Firing up a three and a wild one. Rodman the rebound. The Heat are just firing away blindly right now. And you're right. They don't have enough offensive firepower when you eliminate Morning and Hardaway. Miami is four for 20 from downtown. And if they had converted some of those, they might even be in front at this point. Outside of Danilovich, everyone else is struggling from three-point range. Then when you miss the three-point shot, they have a tendency to sulk. And when they are sulking going back, what is happening, Chicago is pushing the ball, and they're finding free guys in the painted area. That did not happen in the first quarter. Kurt Thomas, you saw, picked up his fifth foul. Danilovich. Has four fouls. We haven't seen him, and now he's coming back in. And uh, Leonard is going to go out of the game. You know, it's interesting. Uh, Pat Riley told us about how Deshaun Leonard really is an offensive threat coming off the bench. But the fact is, and you just pointed it out, that Leonard was a really good defensive player in his act. Yes, he did. He did a very good job. Look, one of the most frightening things in this league is to play Michael Jordan. Uh, mainly because he can embarrass you so quickly, whether it's in the post up or facing the basket or jump up over the top of you. Two coach with 11 after the free throws and an 11-point lead for the Chicago Bulls. Hardaway hits a two. Tim Hardaway, like Dan Marley, have an ice cold from the field tonight. 8.05 to go. It's 87-78. Nine-point lead for Chicago. In spite of those two guys struggling, you're only nine, nine down, down. And, you, and you still have seven minutes and 50-some-odd seconds. That's three threes. If they can only make a few of them. Jordan with four on the shot clock against Danilovich, double team, and throws up the air ball. Rodman is Rodman. sandwiched. But, but look Rodman at the way Rodman, Rodman went after the ball. Oh, absolutely, good. I tell you, Dennis is working tonight. Dennis has done a terrific job. See, it's easy to, to get take advantage of Dennis maybe for a quarter or a half. Unfortunately for you, now keep watching Dennis working in here. Dennis is working the entire time he's out there. For that full 48 minutes, he's played a small forward tonight, power forward, and he's played the center position. Final piece in the puzzle to a championship year with Dennis Rodman last year. He has 17 rebounds tonight. Kukos. Offensive foul. He used the elbow, so Tony Kuko picking up his second foul, and the Heat down by nine. Had plenty of time to come back. Uh, let me just tell you something. Watch this. This is a great block right there. Well, well look at that. That that was just outstanding. Uh, all right, by by pointing in that position. That, that was just a, a, a great block. But Dennis Rodman went over and said something to Thomas. I, Pat Riley jumped off the bench because, you know, I mean, he's flunking him the entire night. 
That's fraternizing with the enemy. Hardaway missed. Morning follow up. Oh, yes. And a foul. And Alonzo Morning came to play tonight. Oh, he sure did. And he's played big, not only shooting-wise. His board play has been outstanding. At halftime, he had six offensive rebounds. And here is this. This is just a, a great play in traffic. He just rips it away from Thomas, takes it up, gets hit by two guys, and puts it down. 28 points for Alonzo Morning. Kukoc with his third foul, and Morning can cut the Bulls' lead to six with 7.24 remaining. The numbers on Alonzo Morning are phenomenal tonight. And now you wonder if they have Juwan Howard. That's what oh, I'm right up with the Juwan Howard. Oh, I'm sorry. Juwan That's Howard is right. now in Washington. Is that where he ended up? Okay. Glad you told me. <laughs> I keep waiting for Juwan Howard to start. I know, because that's all you read down here, right? That's and true. I, that's true. It's, it's a good point, Dick. It's a very good thing. Unfortunately, the guy is not here. He's, a, he's happy tonight because they defeated San Antonio by 10 at home. <laughs> right. Morning with his third personal foul. And that'll send Scotty Pippen to the free throw line. Pippen, uh, Miami is uh, over the limit. And Pippen hits the free throw. Now just keep an eye on this. He just rips this ball away from Thomas, sends it up in traffic. Did we talk about Juwan Howard yet? <laughs> Pippen one out of two, out of bounds. Last touch by the Bulls. Scotty this year in three games shooting 56%. But he it's the only weak spot, spot in Scotty's game. He's a 67, 68% foul shooter for his career. And that free throw was his first point of the second half. He has 15 in the game. So it's 88-81, seven-point lead. Hardaway behind Morning hits a two-pointer. There you go. Hardaway now with 13 points. And there are three players in double figures for the Heat. Morning with the 29. Danilovic and Hardaway each with 13. And the lead is down to five. This is a clear out for Michael. But Morning comes into the way. And they give it to Pippen, who fires a three. And P.J. Brown the rebound. And this crowd back in the game. Well, they get one now here. This will be interesting. Kurt Thomas throws up an air ball, and here is Jordan in the semi-open floor against Danilovic and Hardaway, and he misses inside, double team, quick double team by Miami. Hardaway in a little bit of trouble. And the foul, offensive foul, and a good call against P.J. Brown. That was a good call, offensive foul, and that will be for P.J. Brown, his fifth personal. Right now, all the fringe players are expendable. Main thing right now is you had a big advantage that time. You had to convert in traffic. Ma, you gotta get me out of here. This is not a nice place. Picking up bad habits, Ma. Hey, hey, hey. They're making me do bad things. Are you blind out of my face? They're even trying to change the way I look. It can't get any worse than this. I said you got the wrong number, chump. Oh, Granty. Baby, Meet George, your new personal trainer. Nice to meet you. Not nice. Not nice. That's right. Not nice. Over the past 13 years, no other import manufacturer has sold as many sport utility vehicles as American Isuzu Motors. But hey, why stop at 13? Right now, you can lease a 96 Trooper or Rodeo for some of the lowest prices of the year during the Isuzu Big Deal Clearance Event. The rugged, dependable, go-anywhere Isuzu's. Believing I can make a difference wasn't the problem. I just didn't know how. I knew I couldn't do everything, but I could do one thing at a time. And I realized I wasn't the only one out there. I've learned so much from so many different people. It's been great getting involved. Team up with your community. Ask your cable or satellite provider about CNNSI, the sports news network. Box office. 
Well, Gibby, uh, Miami is making this a close game, down by only five, but it should be pointed out that Michael Jordan is only one for five and two points here in this quarter, and you know sooner or later he's going to explode. Well, you know, they're running two guys at him, and they're trapping him, and it's interesting because Michael has shot a couple of very difficult percentage shots here lately. And I also, uh, looking at Miami at the other end of the floor, they're getting good opportunities, but they're trying to make the overplay, the sensational play. Just make the easy pass right now because you will get good shots. Uh, Michael is struggling. So the key, go go at him and go with high percentage basketball. And with 40 points, he is struggling, but actually he is lately and uh, one for five and the Heat doing a good job defensively against him. Luke Longley and Steve Kerr both have checked into the game for the Bulls and they join Jordan, Rodman, and Pippen. See the underlying fact of Michael's night, 28 shot attempts. 15 yes. for 28, shooting high percentage. But he does have 28 attempts. DJ Brown, Kirk Thomas, Alonzo Morning, Sasha Danilovich, and Tim Hardaway are in there for the Miami Heat. Under six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Got a good one going here. Jordan starts to go. He's now two for six. When Michael gets cooking, watch out. He's got 42. Well, that time there was no double team. Everything was late. No one guy's going to stop. He's just going to jump over. Offensive foul against the Heat. And if it's at on Danilovich, that will be his sixth. But it is on Morning. So Morning now with four. So here's a foul story. Morning has four. Danilovich has four. Brown five and Thomas five. So that's the foul story as Kurt Thomas goes to the bench replaced by Dan Marley. Right now, the one thing you cannot do if you're Miami is allow Steve Kerr to get off an uncontested three. Hardaway trying to prevent that. Here's Longley, backs it. And Kerr in the lane hits. Big basket by Steve Kerr. Dennis Rodman kept that ball alive. And the lead is nine now for the Bulls. The Heat had gotten it down to five. But it's a nine-point game as we wind down to five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Remember, the Heat had an 11-point lead after one. Jordan and Rodman. I think it was Jordan that got him first. Yeah, Rod 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 Rodman fouled him hard, but he held him up before he crashed into the floor. That was Danilovich and Rodman with his fourth personal foul. Now, this is a beautiful backdoor move. You see Danilovich moving, see? There's the pass. He gives a good pump fake. Rodman comes down strong. Yeah. Jordan avoided the contact, but Rodman did not. Danilovich hits the free throw. Sasha Danilovich, as Hubie mentioned, missed 62 games with wrist surgery last year. Yes, he did. 62. He was the starting two guard at the beginning of the season. Rex Chapman came in, substituted for him, and had a banner season. Rex this year playing at Phoenix as a free agent. Two free throws for Danilovic, 92 to 85 in favor of the Bulls. Jordan pulls back against Danilovic. Rebound to Hardaway. It's a three on two. That doesn't last for long. And uh, as Hardaway brings the ball up, he is fouled by Steve Kerr on the push. Now both teams are shooting the penalty from now to the end. All right. So Hardaway goes to the free throw line. You make these, you're right in business. You're only down seven, you make these two, you're down five. Anything can happen here right now. Hardaway is two for two from the free throw line. They have 25 against the Indiana Pacers in the Heat's last game. Tonight, Hardaway has 14. Well, in the first two games, Alonzo Morning averaging 26 and Hardaway averaging 22. Unfortunately, uh, Marley, who is averaging 14, has struggled, and so has Hardaway. And they need these two. But it's a five-point. They're right here. Game again with 440 remaining. Both teams in the penalty. This is the team that swept the Heat three to nothing in the first round of the playoffs. Great pass Beautiful. from Luke Longley to Michael Jordan. And you see the value of Longley. He doesn't have to be a big power center in this offense. Well, you see, that that's their guard around. 
but instead what they did was they they brought their post-up player Michael Jordan on the back door. That was beautiful to watch. Low to Morning working against Longley. Nothing there. P.J. Brown hits the jumper after it bounced on the rim. Six for the former New Jersey net. And again, it's a five-point lead with four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. So they're starting out high, and then with the cuts, they get right into the triangle. Last year, the Bulls started off with five straight wins before they suffered their first loss. Ended up with 72 wins for the year. Kerr misses a three, but Pippen keeps it alive. Kerr again, he misses another three-point attempt. Nice this time, point. Marley to Hardaway. The Bulls get back defensively, so there'll be no easy basket this time down for Miami. Under three and a half to play in the fourth. Hardaway leaves Marley open for three, and he continues to have a miserable night from the field. 0 for 8 from downtown for Dan Marley. Pippen turns around and hits a jumper, and that's a big sequence at both ends. Yeah, and an excellent timeout by Pat Riley. But Marley struggles. Pippen hits the jumper. It's 96-89 Bulls. We'll be right back. Touchstone Pictures presents... I have your son. Sean! Mel Gibson, I'm offering this money as a reward on your head. In the most exciting thriller of the year. I'm going to dedicate my life to tracking you down. A heart-pounding nail-biter. Who got shot? Hang on to the edge of your seat. You kill him! You kill yourself! Get ready for the ride of your life. Give me back my son! Ransom, a Ron Howard film. Rated R. Starts Friday, November 8th. for the lowest price of the year during the Isuzu Big Deal Clearance Event going on now. Oh yeah, mud sold separately. isn't it? Finding out you paid too much for your stereo. Circuit City. You can't find a lower price. We guarantee it. We'd like to show you the triangle offense and then a new wrinkle which Chicago has put in. Now once this pass goes to Rodman right now, they are like this and then here is their post player. You're going to see Luke Longley come up and usually they will run this guard around. But watch what happens. As Longley catches it, they run Michael Jordan right from that post, and it's a pass right down. That was a beautiful play and, and, and wonderfully executed because of the ability of Longley to make the pass. Let's take a look at the timeout picture right now. The Bulls have four, and the Heat two full timeouts, no 20s, and the Bulls will lose one under the two-minute mark. So, uh... It'll be Miami's ball trailing 96-89. It'll be Hardaway inbounding. Danilovich and Hardaway at guard up front. Morning, P.J. Brown and Dan Marley. Harper, Jordan, Pippen, Rodman, and Longley for Chicago. So you, have, you have to play two men right here and get, get Morning in the game. There's a back screen for Morning, catching him on the roll. Three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Here's Morning, good position, and he's fouled. Pippen with the foul. Scotty with his third. And both teams in the penalty, and Morning will go to the line. You have to work through Morning in order to get the double team, because they're not going to double team anyone else down inside. I like what we saw there, a nice back screen on Morning to bring him to the ball, and it forced the Bulls to switch, and that's why that opened up. Alonzo Morning, 7 for 10 from the free throw line. 30 points for Zoe with 18 rebounds and four block shots. He has played big tonight. Question is, will it be enough to put the Miami Heat over the top? They were up by 16 at one point. And then the Bulls were up by 16 or 15, I think. And the Heat staging a late threat. One out of two, so Morning has missed four from the free throw line. 
They really count bad here. Yeah, they, that's, well, you see, Miami does have an Achilles heel. They're only a 70, 71 percent foul shooting team. 96 to 90 in favor of Chicago. Here is Jordan guarded by Danilovic. Double team quickly. Jordan fires baseline. And Marley, and Marley had the rebound. Banged into by T.J. Oh. Brown. Unfortunate for the Heat. And the basket by Michael Jordan gives him 46. That should have been a Miami rebound. Absolutely. And a foul, no basket if it goes, and a pushing foul. They take the heart right out of you. Uh, right there, you just saw bad basketball. You have to take care of your defensive board. There's the first uh, second shot, and here comes Jordan. Knocks that one right off the glass. First foul on Luke Longley in morning, who has missed four free throws tonight. On the line for two with his team trailing by eight. Washington beats. Who did Washington beat San Antonio. San Antonio? Big win by Detroit. 223 remaining. Who's got it out? Who's got it out? Morning hits one free throw, and it's 98 to 91. 219 and running. Seven point lead for the Chicago Bulls, trying to make it 4 0 in this young season. Right now, all they're doing is they're running time, maximizing the clock. Seven on the shot clock. Jordan finds an opening in the lane and draws the foul. With 2.03 remaining in the fourth quarter, you can look at the face of Michael Jordan to know that he feels confident the Bulls are headed for another W. P.J. Brown, with his sixth personal foul, has fouled out, having scored six tonight. Now, Detroit had another impressive win this evening. If Chicago should win this game, TNT has the clash on Friday night. Yes, they do. Chicago at Detroit, both teams undefeated. And, uh, of course, you're going to Japan, and uh, you'll be, uh, that's going to be an easy trip for you. I mean, you leave at 5.55 tomorrow morning. You get into Tokyo at 5 o'clock Friday afternoon. You do a game. You spend, what, about 20 hours in Tokyo? This is Hubie Brown's itinerary. Fans, and this is where he's going. He departs in the morning in Miami. So please don't go to the airport to see him off. <laughs> He'll do the game. That'll be on TNT between uh, Orlando and New Jersey. Then he's going to leave at 6.30 Tokyo time, come back to Atlanta at 10 o'clock, and he'll be, you better be fresh for our Tuesday broadcast in Houston when the Lakers go against the Rockets. That's all I got to yeah, say. When I, when I brought this up to someone, they said, well, that's all right. You have Sunday to relax. Right. <laughs> and you do. Just, you know, I'm going to be on your game Tuesday night. That's, that's all right. I'm saying to you. Oh, man. Good luck on that trip. Uh, we, love, we love the game. Thanks man. for not inviting me. <laughs> Jordan with 48 points. And under two minutes to go. It's 100 to 91. A nine-point game in favor of the Chicago Bulls. They got a test tonight. Make no mistake about it. And Pippen with the steal. Great defensive play. And we go back to the top UV when they said they are, they, they are what they are because of their defense. And Pippen leads the parade. 191. Harper open for three. He'll take it. Rodman, who has 20 rebounds. Oh, watch out. Near, very nearly got into it with Morning. Yeah, Morning caught him right, right in the face. Hardaway off the glass, and Kukoc will have it, and he'll take his time with 118, and uh, Rodman got hit in the face. Yeah, he did. And he is having trouble seeing. And he says, let's continue to play. Eight on the shot clock. Pippen with a long three. And there's Rodman, who can't see. Now with his 22nd rebound. Not bad for a guy who uh, lost vision for the moment. Well, you can see he was definitely stunned. There's no doubt about that. He was running right by us, right in front of us. You can see he was staggered. Right here, he gets hit by his own man. But he was hit at the other end of the floor first. Uh, with warning in a collision. It's popped right here by his own man. And then, you know, <laughs> hate to say it about this guy, but how about the fact he's jogging along, the shot goes up, all of a sudden he sprints to the ball, yeah. gets the gets rebound with two, right. two guys That's right, him. and then gets fouled. You know, it could be a decoy because he's having trouble uh, getting his vision out. I knew something was wrong. He missed the free throw. 
That's part of his game. Missing free throws is part of his game. Here he is now. Now just watch. Pippen launches a long shot as the clock is going down. And then he just says, he just pushes Hardaway right out of there and gets on the offensive board. Rodman only two points misses both free throws, but he has nine offensive rebounds and 13 off the defensive glass. That's what they pay him for. Hardaway, basket is good, and Hardaway is fouled. And will go to the line. It is a seven-point game. Could be six with 49.6. Don't turn it off yet. Well, we, we've all been around this league. I mean, you know, a six-point lead with uh, 12 seconds to go, you're not safe. You, know, you say, oh, well, 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 what did we just have right before the half? Before the half, with six seconds on the clock, they make a three, a bad pass in bounds. You make another three, boom, 6-0. So it can happen. Tony Kukoc uh, with his uh, fourth personal foul, and here is Tim Hardaway, who has been perfect four for four from the line tonight. Now you just need to button up. You, 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 you must make it happen defensively. Hardaway makes both free throws. Six-point game. That's two threes. So this is the biggest possession now. Just don't foul. And that's going to be a backcourt back violation. Court. And the right. Heat has it with 38.5. The Miami Heat has two possessions. Down by six. And Rodman, who went out briefly, will be coming in. And a timeout has been called by the Miami Heat. So the Heat putting the heat on the Chicago Bulls. We'll be right back. I came here to do one thing, win another one. Pro player jackets come in home colors of all 30 NFL teams and reverse to the away colors. That's right, guys. We're gonna do things my way now. Get them at Foot Locker, the place where it all begins. The Pro Player Reversible Jacket. Reverse it! For 36 years, Dr. Pearl has believed in providing the best in value. And now at Pearl Vision, we're celebrating our anniversary with a fantastic frame sale. All our frames are 50% off, every one reduced by half. But hurry, Pearl's Founders Day sale ends soon. My brakes are gone. Any chance I could get that fixed in a couple of hours? Tell you what, leave it here, I'll see what I can do. Check in periodically. I was wondering, how's my car coming? I have three of my best guys on it right now. With Pep Boys, 12 service bays and expert technicians, you're in and out fast. 26,000 items, tires and service too. Pep Boys, everything but gas. Where do you go to save this holiday season? The Ace Season Savings Sale, where you'll find help with your gift and decorating needs at special holiday savings. During the holidays, Ace is a place with the helpful hardware folks. Let's bounce back in NBA history to March 28, 1995. Pat Riley's New York Knicks host the Chicago Bulls. And Michael Jordan, fresh back from his retirement. Michael rocked the garden for 55 points as the Bulls stopped the Knicks 113 to 111. And the uh, fabulous Jordan has 48 right now. Now, QB, after the timeout by Miami, they have one left. They're down by six. Two philosophies. You go for the quick score. You get the ball and try to score within four or five seconds, even if it's a two. You do not need a three here. You shoot and miss a three and then foul. All of a sudden, you're down seven or eight. The big thing is, is to score quickly. And get the possession again. That's right. They go to there morning. it is. That's the idea. Morning with a jump hook. Now, 32 seconds. Plenty of time. Oh, no. 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 They let Harper release it. Oh. Ron Harper's foul. Oh. The basket as well. And so the Bulls sent Harper releasing. Beat the Heat down court. And a huge basket and a foul. Good ice this game. It's 102 to 96, and Harper will go to the line. As soon as you score, you go to the full court press. The main rule is no one goes long. You cannot get beat long. You never front people because when you front people, they just release, and that's exactly what happened there. They fronted Harper, and he took off. Milovic with his fifth foul, and Harper misses the free throw. Warning has it. So it's a six-point lead, and the Miami Heat have used their last timeout. 102 to 96, and they still have a chance to get three or two 
and the possession again. Yeah, now just keep an eye on this. There he is. As Harper is just running right down the floor. Danilovic nowhere near him. They go for the foul. Now, right now, once again, key, key strategy. Get the quick score, put on the press, and let's see what happens. TBS Destination Sunday, every Sunday night at 7 Eastern, only on TBS. Freshness Hotline, what's the problem? Man, my party is lame. I think I got some skunky beer. Sir, relax. When was your beer born? Born? What are you talking about? It doesn't have a born on date? A what? Do you have any Budweiser? No, man, you gotta help me. Okay, remain calm, sir. We're on our way. New Born on Dating from Budweiser, because fresh beer tastes better. Over the past 13 years, no other import manufacturer has sold as many sport utility vehicles as American Isuzu Motors. But hey, why stop at 13? Right now you can lease a 96 Trooper or Rodeo for some of the lowest prices of the year during the Isuzu Big Deal Clearance Event. The rugged, dependable, go-anywhere Isuzu. When developing the Seiko Kinetic Watch, we applied for 50 patents. How could we fit them all inside? We took out the battery. Seiko Kinetic, the amazing quartz watch that never needs a battery. The Bulls lead the Heat 102 to 96 with 29.2 as Miami uses its last time out. Want to remind you, coming up, the postgame show, the NBA on TBS, continues. So, with the score 102 96, six point deficit, it isn't an automatic three point attempt in this uh, Absolutely. soldier. You're right, Dick. If the three point is wide open, you take it. If not, you get the quick score again. You put on your full court press, you force them to call a timeout or. Foul, one of the poor foul shooters. Clock management is the key right now. You can't waste time. Can't believe so many fans have left here. This thing has gone down the while. I'm stunned. And Marley fires up a two and hits. Two-point basket by Dan Marley. It's 102 to 98. And Jordan is fouled by Tim Hardaway. And of course, ideally, you don't want to foul a good free throw shooter, but you may not have the choice. That's right. You're absolutely right. Tell you, Marley's been ice cold, but this was a big one for Pat Riley. Now you can see right here, it's a fumble. As he steps in, you can see he definitely stepped on the line. It was a two-point shot. The Bulls, very intelligently, took the ball out of bounds and get it to Jordan. Who was 11 of 12 from the free throw line. Is there any doubt? 49 points for Michael Jordan. He's going for 50 right here. He has enjoyed himself tonight. After the home win, as you pointed out, against Vancouver last night, getting in late, getting off to a slow start, they found their form in the second quarter. Michael Jordan with 50 points tonight, and it's 104 to 98. Miami is out of timeouts, and they may have to go to the threes now. Marley. And it's Danilovic blocked, missing a three block, and Vashawn Leonard, who's just checked in, gets a basket. 7.3 seconds to go. It's 104-100, and they foul Steve Kerr. And Danilovic with the personal foul, and he's gone. So Sasha Danilovic becomes the second member of the Miami Heat to foul out. P.J. Brown was the first. He goes out having scored 15. Now, Phil Jackson also made a very nice move here right now. You put in your good foul shooters. He has Kerr in the game. Steve Kerr last year shot 50% from the field, 50% in threes, and 90% on the foul line. I would say he had a fairly decent year. I would say that that's why Steve Kerr <laughs> is such a valuable guy. And what it is for Steve Kerr to be part of the Chicago team with an element that they need, well, you know, a role player. Well, it's interesting. He was cut from Orlando. He was cut from Cleveland. He couldn't find a place. All of a sudden, they bring him in, and he's the perfect guy. He replaced B.J. Armstrong, running to the corners, looking for the threes, and he's a hard worker, and he has really perfected his trade. 6.7 seconds remain. It's 
105 to 100. The Bulls will win their fourth in a row. And it's 106 to 100. And Jordan very nearly steals it from Deshaun Leonard, who fires it up off the glass. Rebound Longley, and that's all she wrote. The Chicago Bulls have outlasted the Miami Heat to win by a score of 106 to 100. And our butt player of the game is Michael Jordan, who scored 50 points. And uh, the Bulls have won again and go 4 and 0 on the season. The Miami Heat losing for the first time this year. Drop their record to two and one. And right now, let's go over to Dick Versace. I'm here with Scotty Pippen. Scotty, another yeoman's uh, all around performance by you. Michael tossed in a measly 50. Uh, did you guys go out late like you did last year? No, we didn't. You know, we, we came in here tonight, you know, realizing that this is going to be a important game for that ball club to try to test themselves and see where they're at at this point of the season. It was a great challenge for us because I think the competition level that we've been facing thus far haven't been as tough. So it was a great game tonight. It seems that you've got a new rivalry here. This team really wants a piece of you. Well, they do. I mean, we're the monsters of the East right now. So, I mean, they're going to have to get over us to feel like they've gotten to that next level. And it was a great performance on their part, but they still got a lot of work ahead of them. All right, Scotty, thanks a lot. Thanks. All right, back to you, Dick and Yubi. All right, let me figure this out. 72 minus 4 <laughs> is 68, so you know you, you're, you're online for, for 72 wins. Can you break the record? Only kidding. No, we're just going to take Hard a game, game tonight. Game. Huh? Yeah, Hard game. It was. I mean, uh, they played well. You know, we came in, uh, you know, just like the other two games, we take a, take a quarter or a half, be used to a team, and once we figure out, you know, their, their, their niches, I think we can apply our defense and, you know, more or less take their best punches and come back at them. Michael, you were on fire. You look quick tonight. The elevation was there. But as soon as Hardaway went to guard you during that period, you guys posted him up five straight times. Yeah, I, I got the height advantage. Uh, I knew he, he was looking to guard me uh, as, a, as a challenge today. And I just kind of took my time. And when I had him in the post, I just used my moves and used his anticipation to my advantage. And, uh, you know, we went right at him. Now, coming over here, I saw you, you're holding your thumb here. Did you get hurt? Yeah, I got hit on the thumb. I got the game's keeper thumb, which is a bruise. And every now and then, it just comes back to bother me during the course of the season, but it's nothing really. Michael, uh, you, you seem to enjoy yourself tonight. I mean, you had a smile on your face. You had a couple of words for Pat Riley. What did you tell <laughs> Pat, by the way, when you hit that jumper falling off the court? He called me a little rat for making that jumper. <laughs> and I just had to smile at him. I mean, uh, you know, he's such a competitor. And... and you know, I'm just a competitor as he is. So, you know, when we have a chance to, to be his teams, I mean, that's, that's a big challenge for you us. You said this year this team can still get better. Where can the Bulls get better? I think consistently. I think uh, we, we hadn't played a perfect season, I guess. And I, I guess that's, that's the motivation that we have at this stage. That drives us to be, be better as a team. I, I don't think we should get complacent with what we did last year. I think everyone's looking at us to get tired out and maybe, uh, you know, maybe an injury here and there and we're old, whatever. But that's the challenge is to prove everybody wrong. Michael, between you and your personal trainer, you're dropping five to eight pounds. Can you explain a little bit about that? Last year, I played at 217, 218, and I had a lot of knee problems, tendonitis. And uh, this year, I, I tried to get down to 209, maintain the same strength, but yet take some of that pressure off my knee. And, and I haven't had any problems with it. And you know, as you can see, my quickness is back a little oh, bit. And absolutely. certainly, I got the lift in my legs that you know, I hadn't really been having in the last 15 months. So I feel good. I just gonna, hopefully we can maintain the same program. Isn't it great how uh, you can come back after winning a fourth title? We see what happens with Dallas and other sports and still get focused when the time comes to get focused at camp. And uh, I think that has a lot to do with it. You know, you have to tail in your career to a certain extent. And you better enjoy these, these last few moments of, of, of stardom or of success and whatever. And I think that drives me more so than anything. I, I, I'm trying to get Frank Hamlin a, a, a ring. I told him he's the only one on the team that hadn't got a ring, and, and I, I feel dedicated to get, help get him a ring. Michael, thanks for coming over. Sure. I know Thank it isn't easy. Great to have All you right. with us. Michael Jordan, he's worth the price of admission, and uh, those two three-point baskets were worth the price of admission for the Miami team. So a big doubleheader will come your way this Friday with the NBA on TNT Game 1. The Chicago Bulls take on the Detroit Pistons at 8 Eastern. Game 2, the Nets and Magic in Japan. Hubie Brown will be there inside the NBA wraps up the night. And don't forget next Wednesday on TNT at 8, celebrate the 50th anniversary of the NBA with the world premiere of the NBA at 50. Coming up next, the post-game show with Vince Cellini and Cheryl Miller. Michael Jordan, 50 points tonight as the Bulls beat the Heat 
106 to 100. So for Hubie Brown and Dick Versace, I'm Dick Stockton. Good night from Miami. Oh, Mr. Jordan, Mr. Jordan. Next year when I grow up, I'm going to win an NBA title. And when I'm nine, I'm going to be in a movie like Space Jam. And when I'm ten, I'm going to eat deluxe sandwiches just like you. That's pretty ambitious. Now at McDonald's, try our deluxe sandwiches with a grown-up taste and collect these fun Looney Tunes stuffed characters from the movie Space Jam.